G&G Productions brings you the Don Franklin Family of Auto Dealerships 5th Region Basketball Tournament. Live High School. G&G coverage is a service of Don Franklin Family of Auto Dealerships. The Springfield State Bank. Built and growing on friendly service. Snappy Tomato Pizza. 111 East Main Street in Springfield. Lebanon Tourism in Lebanon, Kentucky. Visit the heart of Kentucky today. Salt River Electric, serving our members since 1937. Sail with Hill. Farmers National Bank, by your side for more than 130 years. Bowen Dental. Hometown Pharmacy, stay well with us. Mattingly Sims, Robinson and McCain, Attorneys at Law. Marion County Economic Development at the intersection of light, legacy, and vision. St. Catherine Farm. All American Plumbing. River of Life. Lisa Kearns Exit Realty. Sweden, the Springfield Washington County Economic Development Authority. Springfield Presbyterian Church. The Oil Guys. Syntox. RLM Underground, providing excellent work, service, and support for all of our underground and aerial projects. Right Implement. Central Kentucky Community Action Head Start. Boone's Butcher Shop, top quality meats for less. Thoroughbred Asset Management, where do you want to go? We'll help you get there. Thompson Food Mart in Bardstown. Pat Mattingly Incorporated, family-owned cargo and freight services. Washington County Farm Bureau. Central Kentucky Community Action Transportation, CATS. Danville Office Equipment. Washington County Clerk, Brent Berry. B&E Home Furnishings. Demory and Hubbard. Fifth Region Basketball. It's a production of G&G Production. You can hear the shouting in the background. We are back at Green County High School, site of the boys' Fifth Region Basketball Tournament. And tonight, the G&G Productions Game of the Week in this Fifth Region Boys Tournament is going to be LaRue County at 23-9, taking on Bethlehem at 15-14 in the semi-finals, and we're only a, a few minutes away from the start of our pregame officially right here on G&G Productions. Hi, everybody, how be good? Joined by John Graves. And John, what a game we got going on right now. Well, it's, I tell you what, it's a surprising game is, you know, normally you see us down at midcourt. We can't get there, it's a packed house. And I'm gonna tell you what, the Dare County Indians, uh, they've packed this scoreboard as they're now up 59 to 37 in the first regional semifinal, just a complete decimation of North Harden in the third quarter. We'll give you, we'll just show you just how crowded it is here. And of course, they're going to clear the gym here in just a few moments. But the game that's going on right now, as John just said, Adair County 59, North Harden 37. At the half of this game, North Harden was up by four. And in the, the beginning of this game, North Harden were just running all over Adair County. But that third quarter of play came back as, uh, well, a big comeback by Adair County when everyone came in, and Adair County has just done nothing wrong here in this second half of play. And I think we're far enough into this game that uh, unless Adair County leaves the floor, Adair County's going to be playing Sunday at 2 o'clock in this boys' championship game to punch a ticket to Rupp Arena House. The winner of this game will play the winner of the game that we're going to carry for you tonight, LaRue County and Bethlehem which leads to be a really nice ball game, John, when you start looking at them coming in. LaRue County, though, very strong. As I said a moment ago, they come in 23-9. RPI has them second in the region. Second in the region, went to the 2A state championship, beat Adair County in that uh, 2A regional uh, game. They come in very strong, led by Jagger Martis at 16.3 points a game, Landon Blakely at 12.4, and then the all-region player, Daniel Allen, averaging almost 21 points a game. He is a senior, and if you've not seen him play, he is very special. Well, and you talk about special, you got to talk about the Bethlehem Eagles. Wow, 
What a, what a great hard playing ball club to get to the final four here in the boys' fifth region. 12 and seven over their last seven, 19 games. They really put it together. And, and look, if you're looking to bet against, I don't bet against anybody in this one. Uh, Bethlehem comes out, they play their heart out, and Nick Osborne and Nick crew have a complete game. They are very capable of punching a ticket to Sunday's tournament. Right. They're, they're led uh, by Nick Osborne, the junior that just seems to score in bunches when he gets going. Oh, gosh, what about that Taylor County win? 58-54 for Bethlehem. It, that was a game that you didn't know in Bethlehem how they were going to handle the situation. First time being in the region since 2018, but they rose to the occasion. Got down early in the first like it did at Washington County in the championship game. Came back and then stunned a Taylor County team. We're going to take you through the final seconds of this game as we'll go back to the floor. It's only about 30 seconds left to go, and now Adair County is bringing all their reserves off the bench as it's 64-39 right now with Adair County leading North Harden, and they'll go on to play in the championship game on Sunday. We're going to take a timeout. When we come back, we'll have more pregame for you for Stappy Tomato Pizza as our sponsor, as they'll be uh, bringing you the sponsorship of the pregame as we jump into it. It'll be Bethlehem taking on LaRue County. Keep it right here. we got more coming up. Springfield State Bank coverage of the Don Franklin Boys Fifth Region Basketball Tournament is a G&G &G production. As a community bank, Springfield State Bank takes great pride in reinvesting in the future of our local area. We actively support local businesses, organizations, and initiatives that uplift and enrich our community. By banking with Springfield State Bank, you're not only securing your financial well-being, but also contributing to the growth and prosperity of our wonderful community. Thank you for banking with Springfield State Bank, your hometown bank, built and growing on friendly service. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Snap, 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 snappy tomato pizza. We make your pizza with our authentic recipe. Snappy tomato pizza. So hand stretch the dough and it's made fresh daily. Snappy tomato pizza. Snappy tomato pizza. I'm ready for a snappy tomato pizza right now. 111 East Main Street in Springfield. Call 859-336-9888 or order online at snappytomato.com. With a new year brings exciting new changes for Dr. John T. Isaacs Dentistry in Springfield. After years of dedicated service, Dr. John T. Isaacs Jr. has announced his retirement. Dr. Isaacs is pleased to welcome Dr. Katie Bowen, a well-established dentist who shares Dr. Johnny's passion by providing exceptional care. Dr. Bowen is eager to continue the tradition of quality service that you've come to expect. Isaac Dentistry was now Bowen. Owen Dental, same location, same great care. Sale with Hill Realty and Auction offers a full line of sales and listing services. Hill Realty and Auction has attracted buyers and sellers from all across the United States and several foreign countries. Hill Realty and Auction offers a full line of real estate from starter homes to large farms to commercial property in central Kentucky. Whether you're buying or selling a home, farm, or business, Hill Realty and Auction's mission is to give you individual service with a taste of southern hospitality. Call us today or go to our website, salewithhill.com. Lebanon, the heart of Kentucky, has always been known as a legendary place for dining, and it still is. Lebanon offers great options for virtually every type of dining. Fine cuisine with a chef-driven menu, we have it. Country dining with a local flair, we have it. How about a great lunch spot, we have it. We have a place for a slice of pizza, a cup of coffee, or a cool drink. For a complete list of the wonderful places to eat in Lebanon, go online, visit LebanonKY.com. For a lot of people, home ownership is a big to-do list item that has to get checked before you feel like you're a grown-up, living your best life. If you're ready to check that box, talk to Derek Brussel at Farmers National Bank. Derek specializes in guiding first-time home buyers, young borrowers, and other newbies toward a responsible, manageable, fulfilling financial future. Visit FarmersNational.Bank to get in touch. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, NMLS number 402-972. Here at 
Green County High School. How good John Graves for the Snappy Tomato Pizza pregame show as we get ready for Bethlehem to take on LaRue County. But boy, did we have a dandy game we watched before this one. Adair County defeats North Harden 64 to 39. Shocking. I think, uh, of course, the RPI is not going to tell you it's an upset, but I tell you what, this North Harden team, they, 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 were, uh, they were pretty impressive throughout uh, not only the district but the regional tournament. They've really done a great job. Well, and I'm going to tell you what, when they, when they come in, and I saw them in the gym in there on the first night, I'm like, that looks like a college team. Uh, they are just super strong and super big, but um, they look, Darren Breeze does a great job at Adair County. We, we saw it firsthand the other night when we had the Washington County game. He, he can make corrections out on the floor live, and, and uh, that showed tonight. 64-39 against a team in North Harden that had only lost nine games this year. So we uh, now try to find uh, a team that's going to play them, and it's going to be either LaRue or Bethlehem. And uh, we talk about the storybook uh, kind of run for Bethlehem, and that's one that uh, people can really relate with. You know, I talked to Brad Greenwell the other night, and I'm like, how do you follow up year two? What do you do for year two when you've uh, made a regional semifinal in year one and, uh, and what everybody said was a rebuilding year? Um, he didn't think it was a rebuilding year. And these Bethlehem Eagles, they didn't buy into that, that uh, this is a um, rebuilding year. They, they really came to play, and they've got a special team and, and have a chance to do something really special, making it to the regional finals. And I'm going to tell you what, I, after watching all of these teams play, I don't care who plays on Sunday. Both of them are well capable mm -hmm. of winning and going to Rupp. It won't be easy. Paul Childress really has a sound ball club, and they, and they play so well just by watching them even the uh, other night uh, with the way they played coming in. Uh, just uh, Gary Good and I are good friends, and he's the assistant coach there for LaRue County. We were just talking about it, and he just, they just had them ready to play, and they played, and they did so well the other night. Well, and we've seen him play uh, several times. We saw him play this year up at the Lexington Catholic Tournament. That's correct. And he prepares. You know, when you've been here for several years, you just have your system and your style, and then you start getting the younger kids to play it, and, and that's what it takes to build a, a length of a program. It's what you're seeing Stevie Woodson do at Washington. It's what you've seen Boo Brewer do it for years at Bargetown. And, uh, you know, and, and I suspect Brad Greenwell is going to have his system in at St. Joe in the years to come. Yeah, not just defeating LaRue, just not defeating uh, E-Town once, but twice even here in the boys' fifth region. We're going to take a timeout. Got some guests lined up. Got some great things coming up for you as we're counting it down to tip off. It's the Snappy Tomato Pizza pregame show before Bethlehem plays LaRue County. Keep it right here. Springfield State Bank coverage of the Don Franklin fifth region boys basketball tournament. Well, it is a G&G &G production. Hometown Pharmacy is open in Springfield, and here's just a glimpse of some of the ways Hometown Pharmacy goes above and beyond for their customers. Free delivery, Mary in Washington and parts of Nelson. Free compliance packaging to order your meds. Price matching, savings club. Hometown Pharmacy is also preferred on all insurance policies. Hometown Pharmacy, now in Springfield. We've got you. It's a pledge to make sure you're always taken care of. A pledge that your Touchstone Energy Cooperative honors each and every day. When it comes to keeping things running smoothly or getting them back on track when they're not, we've got you, always. All-American Plumbing takes pride in delivering top-notch plumbing services to our clients. Our commitment is excellence and customer satisfaction, which has helped All-American Plumbing build a solid reputation over the years. Trust us with all your sink, tub, and shower needs. Water heater installation and replacement. Water line installation and repair. All-American Plumbing offers reliable service, and you can trust us. If you're looking for a top-quality new construction or custom home plumbing service, contact Brian Gray. All-American Plumbing, serving Central Kentucky. When it's time to take a look under the hood, trust your car, truck, or van to Oil Guys. 620 North 3rd Street in Bargetown. Oil Guys knows how to make your car hum. Oil Guys in Bargetown do oil changes, brake jobs, tire rotations, bulb changes. And Oil Guys will make sure those wiper blades are put on tight for the winter. Oil Guys works the convenient hours you're looking for, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, and 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday. They're closed on Sunday. Oil Guys, 620 North 3rd Street in Bargetown. Next to Mile Kentucky Home Dinner Train.
Hey, son, what you doing? Daddy, I'm going to own a dealership one day. All right, I'll dream with you. From one small dream to over 25 dealerships in the state of Kentucky, we have set out to provide Kentuckians with reliable vehicles and the best customer service for over 50 years. This may have started with a simple dream, but our dedication to our customers will go on for generations. Injured in an accident, the insurance company's being unreasonable, call us at Mattingly, Sims, Robinson & McCain. You deserve individualized attention. Our attorneys are prepared to vigorously advocate for you with compassion. Being located right here in the heart of Central Kentucky, you don't have to travel to the big city to receive superior results. To us, you're more than just a number. At Mattingly, Sims, Robinson, McCain, you are part of our community. This is an advertisement. Back again here at Green County High School. Al Goo, John Graves. This is Stampy Tomato Pizza pregame show before we had Bethlehem and LaRue County. No, you're not seeing double, even though you would think that it's kind of double. I take it as a compliment if I'm ever called uh, Sarge Pollock, but this is the uh, gentleman from Taylor County. And we're talking to Mike Pollock. He is a representative that covers both Marion and Taylor County. He's an avid sports fan. He's a good buddy of mine. So glad to see you. I know you've been busy with everything going on in Frankfurt, but boy, good just take a little breath and watch some basketball. It really is. And when you talk about the fifth region uh, tournament, semifinals like we have tonight uh it, it, it's a joy to come back home obviously i've refereed over the years that's in this correct. region and, that's correct and so it's just almost like a homecoming uh, i sit over there and with uh, coach boo brewer and some of my oh, refereeing yeah. buddies and we just analyze and critique like everybody else uh, oh, in fine. the gym so it was a lot of fun hanging out seeing tim davis and just all the just the coaches and administrators mm -hmm. and just high school referees it's just a society and the association that we can all kind of come together and hang out with and uh man it's a uh, i love high school athletic yeah. sports how be yeah you know and i love things like this because it's almost like a reunion it if is. you will because you know when we come you know i've been doing this 35 years i know you've been doing it Ooh. almost that long yes. so you've been around a long time officiate or in some aspects some you've aspect, been around yeah. you coach Absolutely. and everything else but it is it's just great the people you run into um i'll tell you one you know uh chris over uh, that used to officiate with you uh from around the hardin county chris thompson thompson saw him he was coming up here and now he says he's coming back but i got a chance to see him his daughter was just you know a little now now she's a, <laughs> she's cheerleader, a cheerleader over at e but i mean I it's a that. good time but almost to, like, to catch up with some of the folks that Absolutely. you developed those relationships with and i mean i mean like i said this is my favorite time of the year of postseason regional high school, you know, tournaments and then getting ready for uh, obviously was one of the greatest events in, in, in our state is the it is. state tournament. It sure is. Uh, high school, getting ready for the SEC next week, SEC oh, tournament. Be, be and uh, to see. So anyway, it's always good to be around, uh, you know, just, just everything that's offered here. What about this first game? Adair County defeats North. For those of you just tuning in, Adair County has moved to the championship game on Sunday. They'll play the winner of Bethlehem and LaRue. Again, Adair 64, North 39. Boy, North Harden came out. They were like a, a bull in a china shop when they came out in that first quarter of play. I thought it's going to be a long night for Adair County. But boy, that third quarter of play, uh, Adair County came back to show exactly why they're the number one RPI team in the, in the uh, boys' fifth region. Yeah, and I mean, it's kind of been back and forth all season long, but uh, I, I don't know the exact time, but about three minutes, two minutes to go in that third quarter, I look up and, and North Harden basically scores eight points from the third quarter to the end of the game. Mm -hmm. And so uh, obviously Adair County had some weapons there and a lot of transition baskets. and. Um, you know, when a team gets down six or seven in the regional tournament, knowing that, you know, uh, you got to score, it, it's, it's, it's hard. I mean, the, you know, the pressure mm -hmm. of it all happens, and then you try to get the ball in the basket. And so, um, anyway, I, I, I think I, I sense that. That's what happened this afternoon uh, to the mm -hmm. North Harden Trojans. I'll ask you a fair question, not an unfair one, because you may have not had a chance to watch Bethlehem and LaRue that much, but there's nobody who probably knows any more about the tradition of Bethlehem basketball because you're always going to have to watch out. They're always going to have a shooter or two that's going to make the Nets just uh, catch on fire. And for LaRue County, probably uh, one of the better coach teams in the fifth region yep. with Paul Childers. Yeah, and Paul's been here for several, several years. Sure has. 
usually see them in the you know fifth region boys tournament mm -hmm. semifinals knocking been in that finals over the years and so yeah um you know me looking back at being in frankfurt and all and uh, looking at the different you know uh, i guess scores and, and games that they've played throughout the region i mean uh, i'm excited to see this one i mean like you said barstown bethlehem brought up Structure, discipline. Yeah. Uh, again, well coached on both teams here. I think both teams is a little similar there overall. So it, it's going to be an exciting game. I'm curious to see this one. Well, we always enjoy seeing you. I uh, saw Senator Max Wise the mm -hmm. other night, the Taylor County game, and uh, we know what you're doing for Marion and Taylor County as well. Uh, appreciated being a representative uh, going on in this long budget session. So we thank you for what you do well, and keep up the good work. Well, thank you, sir. I mean, it's busy times going on right now with uh, kind of finalizing the budget. Uh, the House will get it back from the Senate hopefully next week. Uh, we have basically about three more weeks up there in Frankfurt doing, already the, gone by. doing the people's business. Unbelievable. And so, uh, yeah, and then we get into the veto days. But, yeah, uh, overall, it's uh, not – it's been pretty good over y'all, pretty busy, real busy, actually. Uh -huh. But it's always yeah. good to have uh, uh, people from our my district to come up, whether it's a young sure. man or a young lady uh, working as a page uh, there or just the different groups and things like that. You know, obviously, uh, community action comes up and yeah, sees we come this. Up, and, we come up and visit. And so I, like that's that. what we want to do, and we, we just want to be transparent, and I appreciate well. the opportunity to represent you know Taylor and Marion County and obviously I reach across the the, the county lines and help the, the Washington County folks and uh, the Adair County folks in green so I feel like in central Kentucky we have to work together and, and make things happen if we want to get things done well I see and you walk you reach across the aisle you reach across just for uh, relationships and uh, it's very well appreciated by your constituency I know hey listen we appreciate you Sarge. thank you Halby. Michael Sarge Pollock uh, he is a representative for Marion and Taylor County and again uh, he's also an avid basketball fan don't be mistaken <laughs> keep it right here we got more coming up for you in a moment. Springfield State Bank coverage of the Don Franklin Boys Fifth Region Basketball Tournament at Greene County High School. Well, it is a G&G &G production. Central Kentucky Community Action Transportation Services, or CK Cats, are looking for full-time drivers. It's a great employment opportunity for you and a great way to help your community. Take seniors to the groceries, hair appointments, transporting veterans, or general public to the bus station or airport. Apply today. CK Cats has a career for you, Central Kentucky Community Action Council. It's an equal employment opportunity. At Maywood, we want to highlight a great course with wonderful food so you can enjoy the entire experience. If you don't play golf, stop by and try the best hot brown around or our signature cowboy burger. You can experience a private club feel that is open to everyone. Memberships available with a full schedule of events throughout the year. We have a full bourbon bar. Family carryout meals make life simple for the busy family. Bargetown Country Club, 130 Maywood Avenue, Bargetown. Tea time start at 7 a.m., the Grill is open Sunday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance Company is the number one property and casualty insurance provider in Kentucky. And Washington County Farm Bureau, they are ready to meet all your insurance needs. Check out Washington County Farm Bureau's rates. They're affordable and their local claim service is quick and efficient. Come by today and see Jeremy Harden, Washington County Farm Bureau Agent Manager, and also John Weiss, Washington County Farm Bureau, 211 Progress Avenue in Springfield. Call today at 859-336-94. I'm Brooklyn Leap, Marion County Economic Development Director. As our industries continue to grow and invest here in Lebanon and Marion County, that means more and more jobs are being created. If you need a job, we have one for you. It's an exciting time to live and work in Marion County, and we'd love for you to be a part of it. For more information, contact Marion County Economic Development at 270-692-6002 or check out our website at MarionCountyKY.com. St. Catherine Farm. They sell high quality, consistently tender and delicious Kentucky Proud homegrown beef. St. Catherine Farm will ensure that their beef is high quality, homegrown, has no additives or preservatives, is fed crops raised on our farms, and is USDA inspected and graded. It's tax time. Check out these specials right now at St. Catherine Farm. St. Catherine Farm. 
They are Kentucky proud. Hi, I'm Danny Ray Spawn here at St. Catherine's Farm. Come here and buy your beef. It's all local and local raised, and it's Kentucky proud. Jim, how, how different it is here at Greene County. Uh, it was packed a few moments ago, and now we're about 33 minutes away from the tip-off of Bethlehem and LaRue County, and they're going to start letting some folks back in here in a minute as you've got to clear the gym. Everyone out, everyone back in. This is the Snappy Tomato Pizza pregame show, and John Graves is down on the court, as you can see from the wide shot on top. Let's go down to John right now. John? Thanks, Hal. As we've, uh, you know, both teams are down here kind of getting shots up. we got 33 minutes to go, and I've been able to kind of interact with both uh, both sides here. Uh, everybody feels loose here. Uh, you know, it's a, it's just another ball game, and that's what both teams told me. This is just a regular ball game. Um, you know, that, and that's kind of how they're preparing uh, to do this, is just play another game and see what happens. Uh, you know, I know they've got game plans and they've got film and, you know, you got different storylines with LaRue County and they've been here and this is, you know, kind of a regular trip for them over the years. You got Bethlehem and it's not a regular trip, but uh, they're, 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 they're the Cinderella team and let's see if the shoe still fits here in a couple hours, Al. Thank you, John. I think you're absolutely right. You know, what? Uh, what's Cinderella going to end up doing in this next game? Because that's what it's going to take. Keep it right here. we got some more pregame coming up for you. It's the Snappy Tomato Pizza pregame show. Thanks so much for joining us. This is Springfield State Bank coverage of the Don Franklin Fifth Region Boys Basketball Tournament. We're at Greene County High School, and it's a G&G &G production. Hometown Pharmacy is open in Springfield. And here's just a glimpse of some of the ways Hometown Pharmacy goes above and beyond for their customers. Free delivery, Mary in Washington and parts of Nelson. Free compliance packaging to order your meds. Price matching, savings club. Hometown Pharmacy is also preferred on all insurance policies. Hometown Pharmacy, now in Springfield. If you need it now and you need it quick, then you need to stop at Thompson's Food Mart in Bargetown. Delicious serve-yourself soft-serve ice cream. They have excellent customer service, sparkling clean restrooms, and consistently competitive gas prices. So whether it's a late-night BLT like your mom used to make, or if you need to stop and get a tank of gas, you need to stop in Bargetown at Thompson's Food Mart because it's the stopping place. Thompson's Food Mart, 509 West Stephen Foster Avenue in Bargetown. Bargetown. Here's a question. How can something like floor mats help improve your business? How can this give your employees more confidence to do that? How can safety glasses make your company more productive? And how can the way you look change the way customers see you? For over a million companies, the answer is simple. Centos. So to help keep your business well-equipped, clean, and looking its best, get Cintas and get ready for the workday. Pat Mattingly Trucking, a local family-owned and operated transportation business. They offer many transportation services. Good people providing good service. Pat Mattingly Trucking Company in Springfield. Look around you. What do you see? The same four walls you've been looking at for nearly two decades? Aren't you getting tired of that view or the lack thereof? Well, while this house was great when you were just starting out, it's far from your dream home. Let the team at Exit Realty Homestead, who specialize in transitioning you from your current house to the one you've always dreamed of, get started. Exit Realty Homestead. The Springfield Presbyterian Church, a family of believers whose purpose is to glorify God by loving Him and making Jesus Christ known in word and deed. Springfield Presbyterian Church, 140 East Main Street in Springfield. 
the Springfield, Washington County Economic Development Authority wants to be your one-stop shop for finding a new career. Visit suita.org forward slash jobs to view current job openings right here in Washington County. Positions ranging from IT specialist, personal care monitor, quality assurance, and many more. RLM Underground has been committed to quality and customer satisfaction since opening our doors in 2016. As a full service provider in the telecommunications industry, RLM offers underground and aerial construction, fiber splicing and testing, and much more. Fiber. It's the future of telecommunications, and RLM is making sure they are at the forefront. RLM Underground. Central Kentucky Head Start offers the best preschool experience for children as they prepare for kindergarten. Head Start services include nutritious meals and snacks, mental health, behavioral health, occupational therapy, and speech therapy service for children, all at no cost to families. Head Start believes that families are the first teachers for our children, and we will work with you to help your child have a wonderful, holistic preschool experience. We are accepting applications for new students. Visit our website to give your child the Head Start your child deserves. Green County High School semifinals going on. If you are just tuning in, Hal Good and John Grace getting ready for the nightcap here this evening. LaRue County coming in, taking on Bethlehem. Earlier tonight, Adair County over North Harden, 64 to 39. So they punched their ticket for Sunday afternoon. They'll play in that championship game. Here's a guy that's played in a lot of championship games in his career. James Boo Brewer, head coach of the Barstown Tigers, is with John Graves. John? Thanks. I, I expect this to be a pretty good interview because, you know, normally when I'm interviewing, you're getting ready to play. But uh, you, you, you just kind of sit back and watch this one tonight. You've seen both teams. So put your coaching hat on. Uh, what do you think about LaRue County tonight, Coach? Well, uh, I, I love LaRue County's team. Uh, they shoot the ball really well. They're very disciplined, well coached. Uh, I know Paul Childers a, a, a way I coach with him. Um, actually, when I first started coaching, it was under – under Coach Childers, but the thing about it is that they run the offense and they try to limit their mistakes and like if they make you pay behind that three-point line because they shoot the ball really, really well. Daniel Allen is a special kind of player that just comes through the fifth region. They don't they don't make him like that every day. No, he's he's one of those guys that has that motor uh, on both ends of the floor and he comes up, hit the big shots, but you know, to me, it's uh, the Harrison kid and then you know, Landon Blakey is the one in, inside. Uh, Landon does, the other night, he, he, you know, he had a guard at Evans, and he did a great job guarding Evans, and, and he also can score the ball. And Martis has got that Hawk mentality. No, Martis is a shooter. <laughs> now, that's what they don't call him uh, Jay Smooth for nothing. That's exactly right. <laughs> and, and then on this end of the floor, it's, uh, you know, it's Bethlehem, and Bethlehem has been playing with the house money, and they've, Cinderella is in the building. Uh, they are very capable of beating this team and playing on Sunday the way they played the last three weeks. Yes, they have played really well. Well, and I, you know, I know Bethlehem personnel really well. Uh, you know, Brad Greenwood has done a phenomenal job for his first year as, as, as a coach. And, you know, uh, I said this before, like, if he didn't get that job at, at Bethlehem, he would probably be at Barstow right now, my assistant. But uh, the thing is, he's doing a great job. You know, you got Isaiah in the middle who takes care of the paint. And, um, you know, he's arches shots. And then you got um, Osborne who controls the game. And if you let him get in the paint, it's going to be a long night for you. And you can't foul him because he's a, he's a phenomenal uh, free throw shooter. Not surprised at the necessarily the outcome when you get to the Final Four of the region in that first game at Adair <laughs> yes. County. Was you a little surprised at the score difference between North Harden and Adair? I was very surprised of, of that score. But, again, Coach Breeze, you can't. He's, he's built different. He's built different. And... Uh, he's built for this and uh, for this moment. And the thing about it is you can't underestimate Coach Breeze and uh, the way that he prepares his kids. And, uh, you know, I was really surprised at the score. But, um, you know, they played hard and uh, they just you know, executed really well. Everybody's got to have Tiger mentality at this point of the year. Everybody's got to have Tiger mentality. My Tiger mentality is sitting up there watching it and enjoying <laughs> it. You know, this is my, you know, I've been coaching 14 years. This is my first time ever not in the regional game. And, and let me tell you, it hurts. But I love seeing it. Motivates. It. I love, it. It does motivate because we will be back. It's, I, I don't <laughs> doubt that one bit, Coach. All right, so last thing I got to do, we named our Junkyard Dog team for the 19th District, and we got to give you all the credit on that one. You you called JV <laughs> Montgomery a Junkyard Dog, and we liked it, and we named that team. So as we do this from year in, year out, we make sure that the credit right, is where credit is. Thanks for giving me credit. Well, I appreciate no what y'all do, and thank y'all for 
everything y'all do. Appreciate really you. Enjoy coach. y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Back up to you guys. James Boo Brewer with uh, John Graves down the floor, Bargetown Tigers boys basketball coach. Clock says 24 minutes, 19 seconds before we get into Bethlehem and LaRue County. So keep it right here. We got more to come for you for the Snappy Tomato Pizza pregame show. Springfield State Bank coverage of the boys' fifth region. Brought to you by Don Franklin. Well, that's a G&G production. For everything you need to keep your home and property in great shape, stop by Wright Implement this week. We have chainsaws, blowers, and line trimmers from steel, long-lasting quality mowers, gators, small tractors, and generators from John Deere, Honda mowers and generators, and so much more for your home and property. Check out the latest John Deere clothing and toys for the kids online at rightimp.com. With 15 locations throughout Kentucky and southern Indiana, we are the home place. Right Implement. As we all cheer on our favorite district teams, Washington County Clerk Brett Berry and the team at the Washington County Clerk's Office would like to remind you to vote. April 22nd is the deadline to register to vote for the upcoming primary election on May 21st. In real estate, you need to find someone you can trust. For your residential and commercial real estate needs in Barstown, Nelson County, or any of the surrounding counties, contact Betty Hart with Demery & Hubbard. Since 1919, Demery & Hubbard have been Barstown's oldest and most reliable firm. Steve Smith's the principal broker. Call someone today you can trust in real estate. Betty Hart with Demery & Hubbard at 502-507-3052. Looking to save money on your grocery shopping? Boone's Butcher Shop offers convenient weekly meat bundles at a great value. The meats, well, they're already packaged, frozen, and ready to go straight into your freezer. To order, just stop at the counter. Let us know you would like to purchase a bundle. While our staff prepares your bundle, feel free to shop the rest of our store. Once your bundle's ready, we'll bring it out to the checkout area. Just pick it up after you're finished at the checkout. Stop in and shop at Boone's Butcher Shop. 100 Old Bloomfield Pike in Bargetown. Since 1951, Danville Office Equipment has dedicated itself to providing personal service and superior office products for our customers. We take a lot of pride in their success because that's how we measure ours. Danville Office Equipment. Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset. You work hard your entire career. Let Thoroughbred Asset Management help you finish strong and get across the finish line. We have access to all types of investments. We have the tools and strategies that we need to help make your goals become reality. And we will work in your best interest to help you succeed. Come see us here at Thoroughbred and we can help do the hard work for you. The words credit score can cause a lot of anxiety to so many people. But at Springfield State Bank, we want to encourage you to view your credit score daily. You can do this in Springfield State Bank's mobile app. Along with viewing your credit score, we offer tips and guidance on how to improve it. By improving your credit score, you will have access to better financial opportunities. Download our mobile app today and begin your journey to financial success with Springfield State Bank, your hometown bank. Built and growing on friendly service, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. Back here again at Greene County High School. How good. John Gray's on the floor. Sarge Pollock, I asked him to hang around a little bit as uh, this has been an interesting scene to see. As crowded as it was, and they had to get everyone out. Gene, and I'm going to tell you what, Sarge, it looked like everybody from Adair County was here tonight. There and was. now they're getting ready, and now LaRue County is really packing it in. And the typical Adair County crowd, they'll come back in and watch this second game to see who they play in the championship on a Sunday afternoon. I think it's just like what you had said. You know, you, you talked about the officials, the coaches. There are certain fans, oh. like I've seen Taylor County fans that are here tonight that have come back after the game last, uh, this past couple, uh, this week, I guess I should say. And then, you know, the same thing, Washington County, Saul Bernard, Smalley uh, over, you know, over there. It's, it's the people that, that just keep coming back that just have that love that's right. for basketball. And that's so true. And the tradition of fifth region basketball over the years, I look across and I see Coach Larry Miller, who coached at Mead, oh, Mead County, County when sure. they won that, and I guess it was in uh, 84, uh, I went to Breckenridge County. We played each other all the time back then, but I see Coach there, and 
and and just the legend Carl Deaton. Oh my from gosh. Green County yeah. is here tonight. Yeah. I see him. So it is. I mean, the the fifth region tournament overall. I mean, it, it's so good to know that you have the the Barstown area connection with mm -hmm. Washington County and that district, and then all the way down into the Larue and Green and Art. Uh, of course, the 20th being Campbellsville and Taylor and Adair and Marion all in there. So I just I love it. There's some regions that are thinking about di doing away from district tournament play. Yeah, crazy. There, and I just I hate for that to ever happen just because of the history behind it all. You've officiated big games. You've even we played did. in big games yeah. in your career. Uh, How's it for these kids out there on that court when they come in there, and especially like that first game we had tonight, North Harden and Adair yeah. County? This place just went bananas. It, it, it really does. And, and I tell you, I mean, it just it, – you just have to handle the pressure. And, you know, when I was uh, – in the big games, you get down six or seven points and in the middle of the third quarter, kind of like that first game tonight, how do you handle it? Does you know does that basketball rim get a little smaller, and that right, ball is really right. hard to go in, or as a coach, you just kind of stay relaxed, trust the, the process, the strategy, and so. But that's just kind of all the different feelings and flow, and just it's it's an exciting time, and it's just the way you you know you. You learn from it. We always appreciate you coming by. Michael Sarge Pollock, uh, representative for Marion and Taylor County. Keep it here. More coming up for you in just a moment. It is Springfield State Bank coverage of the Don Franklin Fifth Region Boys Basketball Tournament, which is a G and G production. Snap, snap, snap. snap. Tomato pizza. We make your pizza with our authentic recipe. Tomato pizza. So hand stretch the dough and it's made fresh daily. Ooh, snappy tomato pizza. Snappy tomato pizza. I'm ready for a snappy tomato pizza right now. 111 East Main Street in Springfield. Call 859-336-9888 or order online at snappytomato.com. With a new year brings exciting new changes for Dr. John T. Isaacs Dentistry in Springfield. After years of dedicated service, Dr. John T. Isaacs Jr. has announced his retirement. Dr. Isaacs is pleased to welcome Dr. Katie Bowen, a well-established dentist who shares Dr. Johnny's passion by providing exceptional care. Dr. Bowen is eager to continue the tradition of quality service that you've come to expect. Isaac Dentistry was now Bowen. And dental. Same location, same great care. Sale with Hale Realty and Auction offers a full line of sales and listing services. Hale Realty and Auction has attracted buyers and sellers from all across the United States and several foreign countries. Hale Realty and Auction offers a full line of real estate from starter homes to large farms to commercial property in central Kentucky. Whether you're buying or selling a home, farm, or business, Hale Realty and Auction's mission is to give you individual service with a taste of southern hospitality. Call us today or go to our website, salewithhale.com. Lebanon, the heart of Kentucky, is definitely the place to shop. Shop in Lebanon for that special fall outfit for just the right fit. Lebanon has you covered. Lebanon, the heart of Kentucky, has forests, framing, gift shops, wedding gifts, and that just right fit for a pair of shoes. Check out downtown Lebanon today and find out why it is the place to shop. Lebanon, the heart of Kentucky. Technology moves fast. Farmers National Bank can help you keep up. We're all walking around with little computers in the form of a smartphone, so why not make the most of them? Farmers National Bank's digital banking options include an app that lets you deposit checks, make transfers, pay bills, and more. Download the Farmers National Bank mobile banking app in the App Store or Google Play and start making the most out of the computer in your pocket. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Everything is getting smarter. Good thing your Touchstone Energy Cooperative has the knowledge and expertise to help you make smarter work harder. Today, there are more ways than ever to make your world more energy efficient, and we can show you how. Take the next step to go electric and put the power of your co-op to work for you.
Back here at Green County High School, how good John Gray, Snappy Tomato Pizza pregame show. Quickly turns into the old guys, coaches pregame show as we're going to the floor. Brad Greenwell, head coach of the Bethlehem Eagles, is with John Graves. John. Brad, you know, we've talked about, hey, did you think you'd get here? It doesn't matter now. You're in the regional finals, your team's loose, you seem pretty loose. Uh, Cinderella's in the building. It's good to see if that shoe falls off tonight, but you feel good about what your team's looking like. I feel like we're playing our best basketball at the right time, and a uh, big part of it is uh, we're really connected right now, and we're staying together, and there's, it's just uh, it's been a really good story thus far. We just don't want it to end. You know, when we talked before the game the other night, you had a couple rough practices on uh, Monday and Tuesday. I know you've done some work. Uh, how's practice been? Are the kids locked in and focused? They are, you know, the, the, the two practices after uh, district weren't great, but then you come out and you play Taylor County and, and you win, so it's like, it's a weird game, man, and you're dealing with high school teenagers, so you never know what happens. What do you have, what, what, what's what got to go right? Um, and, and you don't have to play a perfect game in this situation, you know, this is a big stage. How do you keep your team in the moment of just playing a high school basketball game and not, not get to watching? We, we really don't have anything to lose. And, uh, you know, the big key tonight is going to be uh, running them off the three-point line. Uh, they, they shoot the ball tremendously well from the three. Uh, we're going to have to keep them off the offensive boards because they hurt us at our place just a month ago. Uh, but the toe the guys, you know, nobody expected us to be here. So we don't have anything to lose. The Washington County game in the 19th District Final, uh, Nick Osborne said he ate some snacks at halftime to kind of get him back in there. Did you feed him those snacks pregame today? We did. <laughs> it's probably a good idea. You're going to need Nick Osborne for the complete game. For sure, man. Uh, he, he came up big in the second half, obviously, uh, against Taylor. And uh, uh, we go as he goes. Brad Greenwell and these – I'm not calling them the Cinderella. They're the Eagles, and they are looking to land one here tonight, Al. Oh, we just got to get this thing done before our carriage turns into a pumpkin. We got a good one coming up for you. You're about 12 minutes away from the tip off LaRue County and Bethlehem. Keep it right here. We got more pregame activities coming up for you in just a moment. Springfield State Bank coverage of the Don Franklin Boys Fifth Region Basketball Tournament at Green County High School. Well, it's a G&G production. All-American Plumbing takes pride in delivering top-notch plumbing services to our clients. Our commitment is excellence and customer satisfaction, which has helped All-American Plumbing build a solid reputation over the years. Trust us with all your sink, tub, and shower needs. Water heater installation and replacement. Water line installation and repair. All-American Plumbing offers reliable service, and you can trust us. If you're looking for a top-quality new construction or custom home plumbing service, contact Brian Gray. All-American Plumbing, serving Central Kentucky. When it's time to take a look under the hood, trust your car, truck, or van to Oil Guys. 620 North 3rd Street in Bargetown. Oil Guys knows how to make your car hum. Oil Guys in Bargetown do oil changes, brake jobs, tire rotations, bulb changes. And Oil Guys will make sure those wiper blades are put on tight for the winter. Oil Guys works the convenient hours you're looking for, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, and 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday. They're closed on Sunday. Oil Guys, 620 North 3rd Street in Bargetown. Next to my old Kentucky home dinner train. Hey, son, what you doing? Daddy, I'm going to own a dealership one day. All right, I'll dream with you. From one small dream to over 25 dealerships in the state of Kentucky, we have set out to provide Kentuckians with reliable vehicles and the best customer service for over 50 years. This may have started with a simple dream, but our dedication to our customers will go on for generations. In 1972, Mattingly, Sims, Robinson, and McCain first opened our doors to serve the legal needs of Central Kentucky. For over 50 years, our attorneys and staff have devoted their time and talents to our clients, both in and out of the courtroom. We consistently provide a wide array of preeminent services to our clients. Let us serve you and call us at Mattingly, Sims, Robinson, and McCain. This is an advertisement. LaRue County and Bethlehem, they are both trying to punch a ticket to play at Air County Sunday afternoon. And Paul Childers is head coach of LaRue County, and John Graves is on the court with him right now, John. 
Thanks, Al. Coach, uh, familiar territory for you in LaRue County. Does this ever get old playing in regional finals, regional semis? Uh, you know, just so proud of our kids. You know, it's uh, it's always a blessing to be at the regional tournament. And when you advance, it's extra special. Crowds are great. It's great atmosphere. So, yeah, we're happy to be here. This is always the goal. How do you relay that to your team every year and prepare them to get to this level? You know, it's a long process. You know, it's a long season. Uh, a lot of these kids grow up watching watching the regional tournament. We got high expectations in our program. They know that. Uh, just something they work really hard to get to every year. It's a new group this year. They wanted to be here, so they've worked to get here. I know you played at the Lexington Catholic Tournament and the 2A. How do those tournaments help you get ready for nights like tonight? Oh, it's, it's, it's huge for these young kids. You know, we had a tough schedule this year. Uh, to be honest with you, I didn't know how that was going to look with uh, being so young that we were. But, you know, playing those atmospheres against uh, quality competition, you know, you learn a lot from your mistakes. And I think these kids really did, especially defensively. We struggled early on in the year. But uh, guys realized how hard you got to guard each possession. And so uh, we really improved in that area. And I think playing that stiff competition has helped us in that area. Well, let's talk about Bethlehem. Uh, what's the game plan tonight to uh, play on Sunday afternoon? Yeah, you know, it's like uh, like every team here, you know, you just try to play your best. Uh, you know, they're a solid team, very fundamental, well coached. Uh, you know, we just got to do a great job of defending and rebounding and uh, making it, making everything tough on them. Uh, they execute their offense real well. The Osborne kid's really tough at the point. You got to try, try to contain his dribble and uh, just, just don't get beat up on the boards. Paul Childers, one of the most prepared coaches of anybody I ever interviewed. LaRue County, he's the Hawks coach. Back up to you, Al. Thank you, John. 7.36, what the clock says. We still got the national anthem, starting lineups. It's all coming up for you right here. It's LaRue County and Bethlehem. It's all part of our coverage from Green County High School of the Boys' Fifth Region Basketball Tournament as the Springfield State Bank brings you Don Franklin coverage, which is a G&G &G production. Central Kentucky Community Action Transportation Services, or CK Cats, are looking for full-time drivers. It's a great employment opportunity for you and a great way to help your community. Take seniors to the groceries, hair appointments, transporting veterans, or general public to the bus station or airport. Apply today. CK Cats has a career for you, Central Kentucky Community Action Council. It's an equal employment opportunity. At Maywood, we want to highlight a great course with wonderful food so you can enjoy the entire experience. If you don't play golf, stop by and try the best hot brown around or our signature cowboy burger. You can experience a private club feel that is open to everyone. Memberships available with a full schedule of events throughout the year. We have a full bourbon bar. Family carryout meals make life simple for the busy family. Bargetown Country Club, 130 Maywood Avenue, Bargetown. Tea time start at 7 a.m., the Grill is open Sunday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance Company is the number one property and casualty insurance provider in Kentucky. And Washington County Farm Bureau, they are ready to meet all your insurance needs. Check out Washington County Farm Bureau's rates. They're affordable and their local claim service is quick and efficient. Come by today and see Jeremy Harden, Washington County Farm Bureau Agent Manager, and also John Weiss, Washington County Farm Bureau, 211 Progress Avenue in Springfield. Call today at 859 336 94 as our industries continue to grow and invest here in Lebanon and Marion County, that means more and more jobs are being created. If you need a job, we have one for you. Whether it's a job in manufacturing, healthcare, a distillery, or one of our many other industries, there's a place for you in Marion County. For more information, contact Marion County Economic Development at 270-692-6002 or check out our website at marioncountyky.com. St. Catherine Farm, they sell high quality, consistently tender and delicious Kentucky Proud homegrown beef. St. Catherine Farm will ensure that their beef is high quality, homegrown, has no additives or preservatives, is fed crops raised on our farms, and is USDA inspected and graded. It's tax time. Check out these specials right now at St. Catherine Farm. St. Catherine Farm. They are Kentucky proud. Hi, I'm Danny Ray Spawn here at St. Catherine's Farm. Come here and buy your beef. It's all local and local raised, and it's Kentucky proud.
Well, back again here at Green County High School, how good John Graves as we're getting ready to get this thing underway. 346 before we get to the national anthem. Starting lineups brought to you by River of Life and all the other anticipation that's going into this game as we can show you from coming on the court. This gymnasium is now packed. LaRue County coming in here, John. And again, LaRue County, if you go by the RPI, number two in Region 5 at .60. Bethlehem coming in on down the line at .49. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you, you get to this point in the season, you look at some point differentials. Bethlehem's probably about an eight or nine point uh, underdog in this one. But you can't tell this team that. They, they're just playing basketball, high school basketball at a really high level, and they have been fun to watch. I know uh, when we did a schedule back in October, I don't know that we could have laid out a better coverage when you start that we, our last two games of the regular season were both Bethlehem games. Well, LaRue County and Paul Childers uh, Sound Ball Club, and uh, he's got some players that are real cracker jacks. Oh, he absolutely does. When you, when you start talking about Daniel Allen and um, – and Jagger Martis, I mean, they, these kids can play. I, I had the opportunity to watch them play in the 2A tournament and watch, and watch them at Lexington Catholic. These guys can flat out shoot, and, and that's typical of a Paul Childress team. Bethlehem, man, they got about three or four kids. I just love to take home with me. They can flat shoot that ball. Well, and we've had them, you know, four or five times here lately. And one night it's Nick Osborne, and one night it's Nick Culver, and then another night it's uh, Isaiah Ballard, Cook. and then you know, the and then Hayden Cook, Hayden and then Cook will sneak in Jack there Bradley. I mean, they've got five guys that leave everything on the floor, and but it starts with Nick Osborne. Every time we see him post game, he's dripping with sweat. He's leaving it all out on the floor, and I'm gonna tell you how. If he can play a complete game, both halves, this is going to be a Bethlehem team that may play on Sunday. Well, the winner of this game will play Adair County, who earlier tonight Adair County defeated North Harden 64 to 39. That has surprised as I've been walking around a gym. Nobody, you know, the, it wasn't Adair County or North who was going to win. It was the score difference. Nobody saw that coming. And uh, I tell you what, Adair County is scary good. They have been the number one team in the RPI for about the last seven, eight weeks for a reason. Uh, those are RPI points. They kind of they tell the story. Let's take a look at the differences between these two teams and what has to happen tonight. What has to happen for a LaRue County victory? I think Martis and um, Martis and um, oh, his name got Daniel Allen have got to hit their points. And if they get hot and they start shooting like they do from the uh, field. You know, Martis shoot, uh, shoot, or Daniel Allen shoots 55% from the field. If he gets hot, it's going to be all LaRue County. Nick Osborne. Nick yeah, Osborne. Nick Osborne. the chips to the other end of the table for Bethlehem. Nick Osborne and the rim protection out, out of Isaiah Ballard. I think Ballard has to have a bigger game, and Osborne has to have a regular game. Nick Culver can't go missing like he did the other night, though. I don't think they can either. Another thing for Bethlehem is that you know, we're saying what they have to do, what they what they haven't done. I think they have to have a good first quarter. They got to come out of the shoot ready to play. That's what I think they have to do. I, I agree. I agree. They've had some. They've they've started slow the last couple games they've played. It is now time because we're about 20 seconds away. First of all, let's do this. If you're pulling for Bethlehem, give me a like. If you're pulling for Larue, give me a heart. Everybody hit that like and share button. We appreciate that. If you're watching on YouTube, don't worry about it. Just uh, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate it. Now we're going to sit it down on the floor for the starting lineups brought to you by the River of Life Community Church down to press row. Position the 6'2 sophomore, number 23, Aiden 
Starting lineups is a service of the River of Life Community Church, 1250 Highway 555 in Springfield. Service on Sundays, 8 and 10 a.m. The 10 a.m. service is on Facebook, live and free, just like we like it. LaRue County in the road blues. Gray trim, white numbers, LaRue across the chest. Bethlehem in the home whites. Gold stripes down both sides. Bethlehem eagles across the chest. Gold numbers, blue outlines. Hal B with the golden voice. Take it away, regional semifinal number two. Tip control in the backcourt. Gets away from LaRue County out of bounds. Who touched it last is the question, and it will be LaRue. And these officials out of the eighth region quickly do it. I had a talk with them pregame. They liked our coverage the other night. Yeah, from Simon Kenton. They go all the way from Simon Kenton to Woodford County. So they've done a nice job in this tournament. Bethlehem will have it left to right on your screen, and we're underway. Cook will have it. Cook over to Ballard. Ballard looks low. Thought about Culver, instead goes back out to Bradley. Now back out to Culver. Man-to-man -man defense by LaRue County. It'll play it, and it's a sticky one at that. Back to Cook. Cook left side, Ballard. Ballard thought about down inside Culver. In the paint, shot on its way, no good, not a good shot. But Cook comes up with it, had it, lost it, taken away by LaRue County. Come the Hawks the other way. Allen brings it straight away. Met by Culver. Allen backs it back out. Allen now over to Sedeo. And now back out of three up and in by Blakey. And he can shoot from out there without any hesitation. Blakey, the sophomore, yeah, he's a he's a gamer. Right off the bat, LaRue County up 3-0. Your cell with Hale scorecard. Culver thought about it. He can nail that three. Back to Ballard. Bethel needs no intimidation. They need to go right after that hoop, as Bradley does, over to go to Culver out of reach, and Cook saves it in, and Baru County will have it going the other way. This is a start like we've seen the last couple games for Bethel. Sedell to Martis. Martis shot on its way, no good. Rebound underneath by Bradley. Bradley to Osborne. Here come the Bethel Eagles. Osborne, lob over to Cook. Cook back out center court to Bradley. Bradley left side, Culver. Again, just underway in his first quarter of play. Winner of this game plays at Air County Sunday afternoon in the Boys Fifth Region Championship. All here at Green County High School. Look at Osborne in the paint, drives, puts it up and in. Very smooth, John. Very smooth indeed. The Bowen Dental instant replay is uh, Nick Osborne. If he can get started for the full half a game, it could be a good night to be an Eagle. Three by freshman Harris in that bottom screen. He nails it. 6-2. LaRue, Culver brings it back around. Culver back out to Bradley. Bradley to Culver, baseline move all the way down, finds Cook. Cook a three on the way, missed it. Rebound though underneath Ballard, Ballard drives, goes up, a lot of hands on it, no whistle, but loose ball picked up by LaRue. Gotta be a big man, play hard down there. Martis off the left side to Harris, Harris back outside for a three by Sedale, no good. Rebound Ballard. LaRue's hit a couple of big shots. They missed a couple in this first quarter of play. Look how loose Brad Greenwell was pregame. Oh, yeah. He, he's, he has uh, come in tonight. And Bethlehem and this team can take how at ease he felt. They'll play normal, not tight. Bradley a three, no good. Cook rebound, back up, no good. Tipped out of bounds, touch last. They'll say by LaRue. They're going to say that was LaRue, but eh, I don't know. I like it, though. Cook on the inbounds. 
Nope, I guess, then we're going to see Culver in there. I guess it's a good time to congratulate the Bethlehem Banshees and the Barstow Lady Tigers. Inbounds, Baller shot up. No good, missed a gimme. Scramble for a culvert, saves it inbounds. Here come the Hawks down court. Daniel Allen will have it. Now back out they'll go to Sedell. Getting into the hands of Allen, and Allen will reset the offense. Allen is a very intelligent basketball player. He can play about four positions. Harris to Blakey. Blakey a three, right it down. Oh, boy. He's feeling it, John, with two big threes. I think so. Time out on the floor. We'll do the same. Springfield State Bank coverage. The Don Franklin Fifth Region Tournament. It's a G&G production. If you need it now and you need it quick, then you need to stop at Thompson's Food Mart in Bargetown. Delicious serve yourself soft serve ice cream. They have excellent customer service, sparkling clean restrooms, and consistently competitive gas prices. So whether it's a late night BLT like your mom used to make, or if you need to stop and get a tank of gas, you need to stop in Bargetown at Thompson's Food Mart because it's the stopping place. Thompson's Food Mart, 509 West Stephen Foster Avenue in Bargetown. Quick timeout by Brian Greenwell. Probably just needed to stop the bleeding. Bethlehem has gotten themselves in this position in the last three games in the first quarter, down 14-1 in the district championship, and then down 11-4 to the other night in the uh, opening round game, Hal. Yeah, and if you're Coach Brad Greenwell, you'd love to see him come out uh, at least a little bit more to stay in the game, down by seven. Uh, but still, you got to come back in there. It's how you finish this first quarter, I think, more than anything, as Osborne will have it on the far side for Bethlehem. Osborne back around, backs it after the three, finds Cook. Cook with the ball to Osborne, now to Culver. Culver thought about it, goes back to Cook. Cook to Culver, three ball on the way, write it down. That's how you want to come out of a timeout with a good offensive set and a open, wide open three. Ah, uh, Culver three pulls Bethlehem back to within four. LaRue County the other way. Straight away in the middle to Blakey. Blakey back on the outside will go to Sedale. LaRue County, they move the ball around back and forth. They do a great job with that. Now down low, they find Blakey and the shot up, no good. Scramble for it, loose ball, Bethlehem has it, and it's Osborne with it. He's got sure hands. Gets it to Culver. Yes, he does. Culver to Osborne. Osborne thought about the three. Now he'll back it back out and go to Cook. I just want to be Nick Osborne when I grow up. Hey, listen, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't want that? Played golf with him on Sunday. After he played all this basketball, he goes out and shoots a 70. Osborne to Bradley. Baseline move, blocking foul underneath on the roof. Oh, we got a foul on the floor. We haven't had one of those yet. Foul's going to be on number 23 for LaRue. That is about to Aiden Seidel. His first, team first. Sedale, so he picks that up, and we'll see on the inbounds, Ballard to Bradley. Sedale so is that Osborne, going Osborne up and in. Osborne hits the big three, and he has five points. Here come well, the Eagles. That's what the PA guy said, but now you tell me. I mean, you know, tomato, tomato. I mean, I want to make sure I get it right. Maybe somebody on Facebook can help me on that. Back out trapped out there is going to be Allen, and Allen is going to get it get inside to Blakey and a whistle. How about a foul on Mr. Hayden Cook? That'll be his first. Again, if you're pulling for Bethlehem, give me a like. If you're pulling for LaRue, give me a heart. If you care, hit the share. Everybody for Hal, hit the little dude down there holding a the heart. That would be kind of you. Be kind, be kind today. Be kind today. Inside Blakey, turnaround shot goes in. That was kind. The rim, the rim was kind to Mr. Blakey. Eight points. He's having a nice first quarter of play. Inside Bradley. Bradley, right hander up. It rolls all the way around and in. Bradley, the freshman, gets his first two, and it's a one point game. LaRue by one. Three on the way. Block by Ballard. Up to Ballard. He'll take it and jam it home. Here, the Eagles have taken a lead for the first time in the first quarter in the last four games. Bethlehem up by one. 2.13 to go in the first period of play. Inside, jumper up and in by Blakey. Blakey's having an unbelievable first quarter. And, and Ballard was frustrated at that, and Greenwood says, man, there's nothing you can do. It's just a good shot. Ten points. Osborne, three, up, and got it. How about that? I think, he, I think he ate his snacks. That's just a good shot. How about Osborne? 15-13. Three on the other side. No good by Sedell. Rebound. Culver will have it going the other way. 
Xander Willett must have checked in that last time out. I missed that one. He's in there now. It's Osborne looks to the bench and brings it straight away. Buck 36 to go in quarter number one. Back to Culver, left side Bradley. Bradley will have it to Culver, he'll go. Thought about it, now goes back to Bradley. Looking for Ballard again. Back to Osborne. But it's gonna to have to be a high percentage shot for Ballard if they're gonna go down low. That's what they're looking for. Osborne, there's your three, up and no good on this one. Rebound underneath by Blakey. Right to left we move with LaRue County on your screen with 1.07 to go in the first quarter of play. This is where Daniel Allen, normally they run a set for him. He's been covered up by Nick Culver, junkyard dog time. Martis picked up by Bradley. Left side he'll go to Harris. Harris down low, able to find Allen. Back to Harris, Harris, or uh, back outside to Harris, a three, no good. Rebound, Bethlehem. Bethlehem has a stolen, big steal by Harris all the way down. Can't get the fall in, but a whistle underneath. They're gonna get Culver with this one. That's gonna be his first. And that is going to send Mr. Michael Harris to the line where Hal, I've got him as a 62% free throw shooter. Only been there 21 times on the year. Got a three to his credit in this first quarter of play. First shot on its way, missed it. Just a freshman. Checking in for Bethlehem is gonna be Thomas Mudd, the 6'2 freshman. He's gonna give uh, Jack Bradley a break. Coming in for LaRue. That's Cole Miller. He wears number 14, John. Okay, thank and he's you. He's a freshman. Young teams. Now back with another freshman. That's Harris to shoot another. This one will roll in. Now coming in for LaRue County, number 11, Decker Thomas. Another freshman. 6'1 freshman. 35 seconds to go in the first quarter of play. Here's Osborne. Bethlehem up by one. Osborne backs it up. Looks off the right side. Talk about going over to get the ball in the hands of Mud, but now goes back out to Culver, now back to Osborne. 12 seconds, got to watch the clock. Ballard to Osborne, now nine seconds. Osborne bumped in there, had it lost. It got it back, inside he'll go, and it's going to be a loose ball and now a jump ball, I would think. It is. They are. LaRue County ball with 2.4 seconds to go. Yeah, Osborne had a nice uh, idea there to get it inside the mud, but tied up underneath, and possession arrow shows it's going to be LaRue County ball, so they'll have just two seconds to make something work here. Baseball pass all the way down, and it goes out of bounds the other side, so Bethlehem will have it underneath their own goal. They will because it never touched anybody underneath, and, and that's where you, you see basketball players and their knowledge. Every one of Bethlehem's players knew exactly where that ball was going in at. Well, this is a great opportunity for Bethlehem inbounds to Culver or Ballard and get that easy too. I think it's gonna be to Ballard. We'll see what happens. Mud looking, he's gotta get it in. Finds Osborne. Now how about Osborne a three instead? Up and no good. John, that'll do it for a very exciting first quarter play. First quarter complete. Let's bring you the second. Springfield State Bank coverage of the Don Franklin Fifth Region Tournament. We'll let the GNG production, y'all. Here's a question. How can something like floor mats help improve your business? How can this give your employees more confidence to do that? How can safety glasses make your company more productive? And how can the way you look change the way customers see you? For over a million companies, the answer is simple. Cintas. So to help keep your business well-equipped, clean, and looking its best, get Cintas. And get ready for the workday. Pat Mattingly Trucking, a local family owned and operated transportation business. They offer many transportation services. Good people providing good service. Pat Mattingly Trucking Company in Springfield. The Springfield Presbyterian Church, a family of believers whose purpose is to glorify God by loving Him and making Jesus Christ known in word and deed. Springfield Presbyterian Church, 140 East Main Street in Springfield. Unfamiliar territory in a first quarter over the last, over the postseason for Bethlehem as they lead coming out of the first quarter of play. They've been, they've had to play from behind all postseason. 
But tonight they've found a little magic in this first quarter play. Uh, how Eagles really, that timeout early in that first quarter really uh, uh, boded well I for I agree them. with you 100%. Blakey for LaRue County with 10 points in the first quarter, eight points for Nick Osborne. Blakey with two threes and Osborne with two threes. Washington, uh, excuse me, uh, Bethlehem will have it as we're back underway. And Cook with the ball. Cook back to Osborne, back to Cook. Cook launches a three up and write it down, John. Oh, boy, what a big three for Cook. And we've seen him hit those over the last two weeks without trouble. They want to be playing on Sunday. And, boy, shots like that, they'll be right in that ball game. Turnaround shot rolls up off the mark by LaRue County. No good. Bethlehem with the ball. Cook will come up with it. Cook now to Osborne. He'll bring it right wing. Hey, hey Cook's a sophomore. Jack Bradley's a freshman. They have grown up in front of our eyes this year. Yeah, you sure have. Osborne. Back to Culver, left side Bradley. Bradley back around. Able to find Cook. Now to Osborne. Back they'll go again, moving it around nicely. They find Cook and he throws it away. Loose ball taken by LaRue County's Allen. Allen. Brings it off the right side, able to find over there Jar, uh, Ma uh, Mardis. Now back around, they'll go to Allen. Left side, Miller, moving it into the hands of Mardis. Down low, that's Blakey. Back out to Mardis, he'll go. Now Mardis in the paint, puts it up and in. Big shot. He's a scorer now. Straight shooter. Jagger Mardis, the sophomore, his first two of the evening. 18-16, Bethlehem. There's Osborne to find the Culver. Back out to Osborne. Definitely. Keeping that rotation on that offense around. We're seeing a matchup man-to-man -man by LaRue County. Looking across the gym, how every Bethlehem fan is locked in on this one. Culver back to Cook. Cook another three. Yes! Right hit down. Two threes by Cook in this second quarter of play. And, and Paul Childers said, we're going to defend the three, but uh, Bethel, Bethel not having any trouble early in this game. And a chaser on Mardis over there with Cook. Cook's all over him. And back left side, the fake by Blakey. Back on the outside, the three by Sedell up in the end. Settle. We'll get it right eventually. Yeah, it only takes me usually about 35 years. <laughs> Back we go with Colvin. You got, a, you got another 35 left in you? I don't know about that <laughs> one, oh, buddy. Don't know about that one. Osborne comes up with a short pass at the charity stripe up. No good. Tipped around. Bradley comes up with it. Over to Cook. How about another three? Write it down, baby. In play go. And now Paul Childers has seen enough. He wants a timeout. Springfield State Bank coverage of heist of the Don Franklin Fifth Region Tournament. Well, it's a G&G &G production. Look around you. What do you see? The same four walls you've been looking at for nearly two decades? Aren't you getting tired of that view or the lack thereof? Well, while this house was great when you were just starting out, it's far from your dream home. Let the team at Exit Realty Homestead, who specialize in transitioning you from your current house to the one you've always dreamed of, get started. Exit Realty Homestead. Back here at Green County High School, how good John Graves for the second semifinal. First semifinal has already seen the Adair County Indians punch their ticket to uh, play on Sunday, and uh, Hayden Cook is trying to single-handedly punch Bethlehem's ticket to play on Sunday. Oh, yeah. If, uh, anyone asks what we've been doing in this second quarter of play, we've been cooking. <laughs> Hayden Cook has been doing it all. Puts Bethlehem up 24 to 19. What a performance by Bethlehem so far here tonight. You'll make, you'll make sure to join us for the halftime stats. Our buddy Lucas Ross, the boss, is going to be with us. Farmers National Bank brings that. We're going to have all the stats that are the stats that are able to be the stats coming up at the half with the boss. Here we go with Sitdale, down low, he'll find Blakey. Blakey, double team, trying to go up, goes up, gets the rebound, goes back up, blocked by Ballard. Big boy block. Osborne brings it straight away, left to right, over to Cook. Now Osborne, back around, back to Cook. Cook, feeling it, but he goes back to Osborne. 
420 to go in this first half. Right side, boy, a lot of pushing going on out there. Yeah, there's a whistle underneath. Yeah, they'll get Jagger Vargas on that one. It'll be his first. Not a lot of fouls called. We've only had two called each way. Coming in for LaRue County is going to be number 33, Braden Singleton. He's about a 6'5 freshman, Hal. Blakey will have a seat. Blakey had 10 quick points in that first quarter of play. And the sophomore's been quiet. 63% from the field this year, Hal. Yeah, they're not giving him his shots. Osborne almost over and back. He didn't go. Now Paul Childers arguing and he didn't go. Here's Osborne. Osborne back around. Now back out the left side to Culver. Culver will have it. Skip pass to Ballard. Ballard top of the key. Now to Cook. The fake. Cook backs it out. Cook will have it down to Osborne. Now Osborne back off the right side. Right wing, thought about it, now backs it back out. Very patient from Bethlehem, and, and they can be. Now we're going to have, looks like a timeout, John. Timeout, Brad Greenwell will do the same. Springfield State Bank coverage of the Don Franklin Fifth Region Tournament. Well, it's a G&G production. The Springfield, Washington County Economic Development Authority wants to be your one-stop shop for finding a new career. Visit sweda.org forward slash jobs to view current job openings right here in Washington County. Positions ranging from IT specialist, personal care monitor, quality assurance, and many more. As we all cheer on our favorite district teams, Washington County Clerk Brett Berry and the team at the Washington County Clerk's Office would like to remind you to vote. April 22nd is the deadline to register to vote for the upcoming primary election on May 21st. We're back here at Green County High School, night number, I don't know, 37 of the region tournament. At least that's what it feels like, Hal. It's but, been a uh, long week. It has been a long two weeks. It has been. So Bethlehem is filling it though. They have found themselves up five, 3.34 to go, second or second quarter of play. Bethlehem on the inbounds and away we go. Bradley finds Cook now to Ballard. Ballard back around to Bradley and Austin. Boy, they just move that ball around so much. The motion keeps going and going for Bethlehem. Bradley top of the key, makes his move. That's Ballard, Ballard the fake. Backed away, gets it back, tries an unorthodox, an unorthodox shot. LaRue County will have it. Here come the Hawks. Left side, Singleton. Singleton throws it away. Cook the steal. Cook tries to ah. get it down into Ballard's hands, but it hits the foot of LaRue County. Dead ball, foul. It'll be Bethlehem ball. And I think Brad Greenwood took a timeout because they were being very patient on offense, but they weren't moving the ball. It was rotating around, but it never was going uh, inside the three-point line. Boy, Cook with a great... Second quarter of play. Gets it to Ballard. Now Osborne will have it. Osborne to Cook. Back to Culver. Oh, nice pass down low, Bradley. The fake, the shot won't go in. The follow by Culver up no good, but he is going to be fouled. You know what that was. That was a junkyard dog play. It was. Foul on number 15, Foul Daniel Allen. Allen. It's going to be his first. He's going to send Nick Culver to the line where Mr. Culver on the year is a 69% free throw shooter, got a, Mr. Goo. Got a three-pointer to his credit. First shot up and in. Just uh, natural. He is a great player for this Bethlehem team. Yes, he is. Uh, I guess one of the greatest things is the, that senior leadership he provides. Blake he has done like, such a good job with that throughout the district and throughout this region. Blakey comes back in for LaRue County, also Michael Harris. And, you know, coming in senior season with a different coach, you know, you, that can go several different ways, but, boy, they've really bought in. Culver, next one up and in. Give Nick five points. 26-19, Bethlehem. Cook playing some good defense down there on Mardis, but Mardis gets rid of it, now he gets it back. Mardis, left side Harris. Harris. Back out center court for a three up and a three no good by Blakey, who's checked back in, but LaRue County will get the rebound coming out of the pack is Harris. Four Bethel players and Harris able to corral that one. Mardis on the drive, the shot up, uh, no good. Tipped around and boy, Osborne, what a big game he's had in his first half. Gets the rebound. 
Tell you what, just the shot's not going down for LaRue County. You said Osborne had to have a big first half play. Well, he's had that so far. Cook to Osborne. Just has handled the ball well. Eight points. Right side. Whistle underneath. They're going to get Jack Bradley. He was kind of bumping uh, Cole Miller underneath. That's going to be Bradley's first foul. First of the quarter for uh, Bethlehem. Coming back in for LaRue County is going to be number 23, Aiden Sedell. And also number 15, Daniel Allen. Allen and Martis are two players that they can create their own shot, and they don't have to get their feet set to get a shot off. The starter's all in there now. As Martis will bring it down. Able to find Blakey. Back around to Harris. Harris looks low. Don't really have a shot, so he goes over the right side to Sedale. Sedale. Needs some help. Able to find it in the likes of Harris. Or excuse me, likes of Martis. Martis drives back out. Now back out to Sedale. Shot up and in. Big three. Big three. They needed that one. His second three in this second quarter of play. Pulls LaRue back to within four with a minute to go in the first half. Culver over to Ballard. Ballard back around, finds Cook. Cook the fake, now backs it back out. Right side they'll go. Getting it to Willett. Willett had it, lost it, tipped around, still by LaRue County. LaRue Allen drives low, high, reverse up and in. Well, and dental instant replay as uh, Daniel Allen able to come up with that one. And a uh, little, little step through, a little up and under for the basket. 25 seconds to go. Bethel needs a basket here. Going in at the half with some momentum will be to their advantage. LaRue County, Uncle Mo starting to come back around for the Hawks. There's Ballard. Ballard will have it over to Cook. Cook thought about it, instead goes to Osborne. Nine seconds, they got to make a move. Culver will have it, they're not watching the clock. There's Osborne. Osborne back around in the lane outside Culver, rainbow three. Won't go in, and John, that'll do it for the first half of play. Coach, stay with us for the Arlem Halftime Report. Springfield State Bank coverage of the Don Franklin Fifth Region Tournament. What's the GNG production? RLM Underground has been committed to quality and customer satisfaction since opening our doors in 2016. As a full service provider in the telecommunications industry, RLM offers underground and aerial construction, fiber splicing and testing, and much more. Fiber. It's the future of telecommunications, and RLM is making sure they are at the forefront. RLM Underground. Central Kentucky Head Start offers the best preschool experience for children as they prepare for kindergarten. Head Start services include nutritious meals and snacks, mental health, behavioral health, occupational therapy, and speech therapy service for children, all at no cost to families. Head Start believes that families are the first teachers for our children, and we will work with you to help your child have a wonderful, holistic preschool experience. We are accepting applications for new students. Visit our website to give your child the Head Start your child deserves. For everything you need to keep your home and property in great shape, stop by Wright Implement this week. We have chainsaws, blowers, and line trimmers from steel, long-lasting quality mowers, gators, small tractors, and generators from John Deere, Honda mowers and generators, and so much more for your home and property. Check out the latest John Deere clothing and toys for the kids online at wrightimp.com. With 15 locations throughout Kentucky and Southern Indiana, we are the home place. Right implement. In real estate, you need to find someone you can trust. For your residential and commercial real estate needs in Barstow, Nelson County, or any of the surrounding counties, contact Betty Hart with Demery & Hubbard. Since 1919, Demery & Hubbard have been Barstown's oldest and most reliable firm. Steve Smith's the principal broker. Call someone today you can trust in real estate. Betty Hart with Demery & Hubbard at 502-507-3052. 
Looking to save money on your grocery shopping? Boone's Butcher Shop offers convenient weekly meat bundles at a great value. The meats, well, they're already packaged, frozen, and ready to go straight into your freezer. To order, just stop at the counter. Let us know you would like to purchase a bundle. While our staff prepares your bundle, feel free to shop the rest of our store. Once your bundle's ready, we'll bring it out to the checkout area. Just pick it up after you're finished at the checkout. Stop in and shop at Boone's Butcher Shop. 100 Old Bloomfield Pike in Bargetown. Since 1951, Danville Office Equipment has dedicated itself to providing personal service and superior office products for our customers. We take a lot of pride in their success because that's how we measure ours. Danville Office Equipment. Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset. Thoroughbred Asset Management help you finish strong and get across the finish line. We have access to all types of investments. We have the tools and strategies that we need to help make your goals become reality. And we will work in your best interest to help you succeed. Come see us here at Thoroughbred and we can help do the hard work for you. Back here at Greene County High School for the RLM Underground Halftime Report. Your score. Wow, what a ball game going on. How about Bethel 26, LaRue County 24. How good here taking you through the RLM Underground Halftime Report. We're so glad to be with you. It's been an exciting first half of play, that's for sure. And let's jump right into it. Our man, Lucas Ross, the boss. He's got those Farmers National Bank power stats for you. See from our stats here, uh, what a close ball game we've got going on. Hayden Cook comes out for Bethlehem in that second quarter of play with three three pointers. He leads all scoring with nine. Nick Osborne, eight points on that first quarter of play. But overall, from the field, how about LaRue County 45% and Bethlehem 43%? Now, is that close or what? You look down at the rebounds, and again, Bethlehem coming in, nine defensive rebounds on uh, LaRue County. But also Bethlehem, six turnovers in that first half. For LaRue County, well, it was 10 points for Landon Blakey and two for Daniel Allen. He's averaging about 17, I think is what John said, per game. So Allen very quiet in that uh, first half of play. But Landon Blakey with two threes to his 10, and it was uh, Slidale. Thanks for the correction on that. Aiden Slidell uh, comes in, uh, the sophomore, with six points and two threes in that first half of play. Your score at the half, Bethlehem leads by two. It's 26-24, Bethlehem leading LaRue County. That's your Ross the Ball stats, powered by the Farmers National Bank in Lebanon. Time now for our hometown pharmacy, hometown hero, where we recognize someone that is a hometown hero. They could be just someone that uh, is a good neighbor, a good friend, somebody that will just move your snow out of the way, or somebody like this guy. What can you say about Artie Braden, New Haven's own? Artie Braden, one time coach there at well, uh, Nelson County, he coached about everything. I think he even coached uh, a little bit of football. But Artie Braden coached basketball there at Nelson County. He was a great basketball coach for this Bethlehem team for Washington County. Left uh, a great tradition at John Harden, taking them to a state championship. He just did an excellent job. And tonight, Artie Braden from right there in good old New Haven. He's our hometown hero. Stay well with us. Hometown Pharmacy. Bethlehem by two at the turn. The winner of this one will play Adair County Sunday afternoon. We got the second half coming up for you in just a moment. Springfield State Bank coverage of the boys fifth region basketball tournament brought to you by Don Franklin in Green County High School. Well, it's a G&G &G production. In this fast-paced digital era, Springfield State Bank understands the importance of convenience. That's why we combine cutting-edge technology with a warm human touch. Experience the best of both worlds as we offer state-of-the-art online banking services and mobile services that make managing your finances a breeze. However, we never compromise on the personal connection, as our friendly staff is always ready to assist you with a smile. Springfield State Bank, your hometown bank, built and growing on friendly service. 
Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Snap, 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 be tomato pizza. We make your pizza with our authentic recipe. Snap, be tomato pizza. Hand stretch the dough and it's made fresh daily. Snappy Tomato Pizza. Snappy Tomato Pizza. I'm ready for a Snappy Tomato Pizza right now. 111 East Main Street in Springfield. Call 859-336-9888 or order online at snappytomato.com. With a new year brings exciting new changes for Dr. John T. Isaacs Dentistry in Springfield. After years of dedicated service, Dr. John T. Isaacs Jr. has announced his retirement. Dr. Isaacs is pleased to welcome Dr. Katie Bowen, a well-established dentist who shares Dr. Johnny's passion by providing exceptional care. Dr. Bowen is eager to continue the tradition of quality service that you've come to expect. Isaac Dentistry was now Bowen. And dental. Same location, same great care. Sale with Hale Realty and Auction offers a full line of sales and listing services. Hale Realty and Auction has attracted buyers and sellers from all across the United States and several foreign countries. Hale Realty and Auction offers a full line of real estate from starter homes to large farms to commercial property in central Kentucky. Whether you're buying or selling a home, farm, or business, Hale Realty and Auction's mission is to give you individual service with a taste of southern hospitality. Call us today or go to our website, salewithhale.com. Lebanon, the heart of Kentucky, has always been known as a legendary place for dining, and it still is. Lebanon offers great options for virtually every type of dining. Fine cuisine with a chef-driven menu, we have it. Country dining with a local flair, we have it. How about a great lunch spot, we have it. We have a place for a slice of pizza, a cup of coffee, or a cool drink. For a complete list of the wonderful places to eat in Lebanon, go online, visit LebanonKY.com. Hometown Pharmacy is open in Springfield. And here's just a glimpse of some of the ways Hometown Pharmacy goes above and beyond for their customers. Free delivery, Marion, Washington, and parts of Nelson. Free compliance packaging to order your meds. Price matching, savings club. Hometown Pharmacy is also preferred on all insurance policies. Hometown Pharmacy, now in Springfield. We have one half left to see who is going to play on Sunday in the finals of the fifth region. And then there's going to be a championship game, and one of these two teams is going to have the opportunity to play at Rupp Arena. If they can get past this game and the Adair County team that played earlier that beat North Harden 64-39. But we have had a fantastic game. And uh, how I think if this second half is – if that first half was any indication on what the second half is going to be, buckle up, my friends. Yeah, Sunday's game will be at 2 o'clock Central Time. That's 3 in East Texas. And then, you know. But hold on. Oh, that's right. Go ahead. Don't go ahead. See, you're reading my mind. Go yep. ahead. Go but, ahead. But there's a time change Sunday because right. we spring <laughs> forward. So I don't know what time we'll, what time things are going to go down. My staff came to me today and they said, why don't we do the time change to Saturday at 2 a.m., Friday at 4 p.m.? <laughs> I can't imagine. What a great idea. I said, forget it. Back to work. <laughs> you know, that's what uh, Paul Childress told his bunch. Get back to work and away they go. Turn around shot underneath and away they go. I think Daniel Allen. Now, how many points is Dan Daniel Allen averaging? 20.7. Had two in the first half. Bet he doesn't. I bet he has more than that in the third quarter. Well, he's going to have to go back to work in order for LaRue County to be in this ball game. And right off the bat, quick whistle. That's going to be on Mr. Martis. That is going, that's going to be his second. <clears throat> Not a lot of fouls called. There's only been four fouls called on either team, both teams. Here comes Osborne. Again, Bethlehem right to left this time in the second half on your screen. Culver. Culver back around to Cook. Cook the drive, the shot, no good. Loose ball. Bethlehem will have it, though. Ballard back to the bucket. Whistle underneath. Oh, they're going to get him for a charge. 
It's well, going to be the first on Ballard. The official underneath went to the official on the wing, and the official on the wing said charge. And these eighth region officials have been very consistent all week. Here comes LaRue County. That's Martis. Martis will have it. They're going to be looking for Allen. You better believe it. Inside pass, tipped away by Bethlehem, but Allen comes up with it. Now Allen will have it, and he'll back it back up. Allen, right side, drive. Underneath, the fake, the shot up and in. Yeah. And it, he's going to go to war. Good defense by Isaiah Ballard. Just couldn't do much with it. Six points for Daniel Allen. And now we see Bethlehem up by two. Low high Osborne tipped by LaRue. Tipped around underneath, scramble for it, and a timeout quickly on the floor. I think it's LaRue, John. I think so. LaRue has got a timeout, I think. It is. Springfield State Bank coverage of the Don Franklin Fifth Region Tournament. It's a GNG production. We've got you. It's a pledge to make sure you're always taken care of. A pledge that your Touchstone Energy Cooperative honors each and every day. When it comes to keeping things running smoothly or getting them back on track when they're not, we've got you. Always. LaRue County has come out in a hurry to start this third quarter play, and they've jumped up to a two-point lead against Bethel. No question, Daniel Allen's come back in this third quarter. He's on a mission, four points. Give him six on the night. Those two baskets in this third quarter of play, big help for LaRue County, and here come the Hawks. Back down low, pass intended for Allen, but a whistle underneath. Foul's gonna be on Nick Osborne, that's gonna be his first. Again, nobody on Bethlehem has more than one foul. Jagger Martis is the only one with two for LaRue County. Allen on the inbounds, able to find Harris. Harris back around, left side to Slidell. Now a three by Blakey, write it down. And, and again, he's shooting 63% on the year and just makes it look at ease. Three three-pointers. Boy, how about this? 7.70 seven run, now a 7-2 run as Culver hits this one in this third for LaRue County. Jumper up by Allen, no good. Gets the rebound, goes back up, no good. Rebound underneath. Looks like Bradley comes up with it. Up to Osborne. Osborne down court. Osborne, left side, a lot of pressure. Finds Culver, back to Osborne. 5.33 to go in the third. Now to Cook, back to Osborne. Left side they'll go. Finding over there, the likes of Culver. Culver a three, yes! Bow and Deno instant replay as Nick Culver says, give me the ball. Squares up squarely in front of Daniel Allen and just write it down. Three point basket. Got it up at 31 all. Here's LaRue County, back top of the key. They find Blakey. Blakey with the give to Slidell. Back around to Martis. The drive, the shot, the two. He is so slippery as he goes to the basket. Giving four. 33-31, LaRue County. Back and forth we go as Osborne will bring it straight away over to Culver. Culver with the ball. Back around to Cook. Cook down to Bradley. Bradley, center court. Right side, he'll find Osborne. He'll come and get it back to Culver. Culver thought about the three and still goes to Cook. 4.30 to go at your sale with Hill. Scoreboard time in quarter number three. Right side, Bradley. Bradley looking for Ballard. Back to Culver, a three. Off the mark, no good. Loose ball picked up by LaRue County and Harris. Here come the Hawks. Harris pulls up, rainbow three. Missed it. Rebound underneath by Ballard. That was all the way from the Lincoln cabin in Hodgenville. Yeah, I don't think that was the shot that Paul Childers wanted there. Down court with Osborne. Osborne picked up by Allen. Osborne to Bradley. 
Now to Colvin. Back to Osborne. Love the ball movement. Osborne drives in the lane. Low high on that right hand. Give him two. Oh, dental instant replay. On the far side, Blakey up and in for two. This is Hayden Osborne in your top left, your corner, and a little push off in the right hand. LaRue back up by two, and left side, blocking foul called on LaRue. And that's going to be the third foul on Jagger Martis. 320 to go in period number three. 35-33, LaRue. Bethlehem on the inbounds. It's Culver. Culver still looking, finds Osborne. Baseline move, he's trapped. Needs some help, throws it away. Loose ball, LaRue County had it and lost it. Now they'll come up with it and a whistle and a foul. Culver tries to go in and tie it up with Allen, but John, it looks like they're going to call the foul on Bethlehem. Hayden Cook, that's going to be his second, team third of the quarter. Neither team is backing down here. Here comes LaRue County. They'll move it down court. Once again, Allen. Allen, he's had a lot of the offense. Ballard has picked the assignment to give him some defense. Now Allen the fake. Right side will go to Slidell, a three. No good. Culver had it, lost it. Slidell will have it. Back out, they'll go to Martis. Martis underneath, ball smacked out of bounds, but touched last by Bethlehem. Big block by Isaiah Ballard in there. I've got him with two on the game. Ballard, nice job in there on the defense. Still a Rue County ball. Martis will kick it in. Martis, oh, nice job finding Allen. Shot up and in, counted and one. And we're going to have a technical. And I said that was that was Blakey on that. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Here. Yeah, the, the original foul, I think, is going to be on Isaiah Ballard. And we're going to let the officials, they're doing a great yeah, job of talking right. about it. They are. Both teams are huddled up as they're trying to figure this out. And as soon as we get some information, we will. I saw the five, John, and I thought it was Allen because he's had control of this offense, but it was Landon Blakey, number five. Isaiah Ballard's going to pick up foul. It's going to be his second. Okay. So he'll shoot one free throw, and then we've got a technical foul. Five. Five white. Five blue. And a technical foul on LaRue County, number four. No. Number four, Bethlehem. Number five. We have a technical foul. So that would be on Culver. Bethlehem. Yep. Technical foul on number four. Let's wait and see. If they call it on uh, Jagger Martis, that's his four. Technical fouls. Basket is good by Blakey. So the basket good by Blakey. That'll make the score 37-33, LaRue County, 2.43 to go in the third quarter of play. Officials are down there trying to get it all ironed out. They will have a technical on both ends. So Blakey will be at the line to shoot one. And we'll get him lined up and ready for that. And then we'll go to John Graves. John uh, was able to get this foul situation all together. When in doubt, go see John Edwards at the table. Technical foul has been assessed to Landon Blakely. It's going to be his first. It counts as a team. Technical foul has been assessed to number four, Nick Culver. That'll be his second. Team fourth. And then there's foul on Aiden Seidel on that play. That'll be his second, team fourth. So since there was a technical on both ends, no shots as far as the technical yep, shots. You just go, you play, the, play it out, and then you just go from there. So uh, at the line, Blakey missed his bonus from the charity stripe, and then off the rebound, Slidell picks up the foul. And the refs pull both coaches together and explain to them, this is, it's, it's their mouth. Yeah. They're talking back and forth, and we're trying to put a stop uh, to it. Not only chippy, it got a little bouncy in there a time or two. Bouncy, I like that. I mean, you know, it was, it was getting a little pushy. They want to keep control of it, and I get that. Yep. Especially a four-point game. Holy cow. In a regional semifinal. 
Yeah, opportunity to play for a trip to Rupp Arena. Come on, here's Cook. Double team, puts it up, no good. Rebound by Martis. Down court, he'll go. Finds Harris, Harris a three, no good off the mark. Rebound Ballard for Bethlehem. Here come the Eagles. Osborne wants to run with it. Hands all over him, whistle underneath. And that's gonna put uh, Osborne at the line. Is that foul is going to go on number two, Michael Harris. That is his first, team fifth. And they're going to put Nicholas Osmer on the line, Hal. And uh, he's 80% on the year. First time at the stripe, John, for free throws. But Osborne with 10 points so far on the night. Averaging 17 on the year. Osborne, first one up. Got it, got it. Smooth. Osborne has been so much fun to watch play this year, John. Absolutely. Cole Miller comes in for Larue County, and I'll tell you, after the championship game on Saturday, him and I and Jackson played golf on Sunday. Kid can play some golf, too. We could, we could probably give him, a, give him a tobacco stick and a frozen pond. He could play hockey, too. Give him a rock. He could do anything. He can back stick. He can play uh, pickleball. 37-35. He pulls Bethlehem back with him, too. Harris backs it out. Now Harris, a little spin move. Left side he goes over to Miller, who's just checked in. Little Jordan hop in there by Martis. He'll put it back up in the air. Nice shot. And they say he tipped it because uh, Bethlehem fans wanted to walk. Adair County, or excuse me, LaRue County was fine with it. Yeah, won't, won't get it. Just a clean shot as he's able to follow back up. Oh, whistle. Nope, no whistle. Bradley goes up, no good block. Back out to Colvin. Thought maybe a push in there that time on Bethlehem. Bradley, baseline move. Inside, he goes to Culver, kicked out of bounds. It'll be LaRue County ball. Tried to get it underneath to Nick Culver there and just too low. They're putting a lot of pressure on Osborne, too. It looked like a push, and they could have been hanging off of him and uh, playing the defense, which they need to put pressure on him, that's for sure. Yeah. If you're going to get a foul called like that, you're going you're gonna to know you got pushed. Whistle down low, steps called, John. LaRue turnover, unforced. Unforced turnover, and not a, not a Standard turnover for LaRue County. Coming in is going to be Thomas Mudd for Bethlehem. 39-35, your sale with hell. Scoreboard. Pulling for Bethlehem, give me a heart. If you're pulling for LaRue, give me a like. Everybody hit the share. Approaching a minute to go in this third quarter of play. What a quarter of play at ball. Huh, good one. Cover a three. Got it. Oh, the bank is open. Ooh. His second three-pointer in this third quarter of play. The senior doing big things. Bethlehem back with M1. Here comes LaRue County. Back on the left side, that's Allen. And now away from the ball, whistle underneath, John. And they're gonna get Hayden Cook on this one, I think. That's gonna be his third, Bethlehem, team fifth. And if that's the team fifth, they should be shooting now, but they're not setting up for that yet. Now they're looking for a towel. They, they've got some nice mops down there on the end. <laughs> I, I, I reminded them of that when we had our pre-game pre meeting. 44 seconds to go. Well, maybe they wanted you to do something else with those mops. I mean, I don't go down there and mop if we you, need to. You gotta go down there and take care of it. Aiden Slidell. Six points tonight, two three-pointers. Hits this one from the charity stride, giving seven on the night. 76% free throw shooter. Jack Bradley's gonna come back in for Bethlehem. Yeah, give Cook a break. Yep. He doesn't need a cheap one to pick up his fourth going into the fourth quarter. No. Back with Slidell, he hits them both. Two big free throws for LaRue County and Slidell. 41-38, LaRue. Back on the far left side, that's Thomas Mudd who's in there. Bethlehem good to take the last shot of this one. Yeah, 26 seconds to go. Got to watch the clock though, they've rushed it in the past two quarters. Bradley will have it, 18 seconds. Back to Culver, now to Osborne, 13 seconds. Mudd, finds Culver. Now Osborne, seven seconds, makes his move inside, stripped away by LaRue County, gets it back, goes up, block underneath. 
by Blake. He got a hand on it. LaRue County will have it. Three-quarter court shot will do it. It won't go. And that'll do it for three quarters, John. Let's do the fourth. Springfield State Bank coverage of the Don Franklin Fifth Region Tournament. It's a GG production. All-American Plumbing takes pride in delivering top-notch plumbing services to our clients. Our commitment is excellence and customer satisfaction, which has helped All-American Plumbing build a solid reputation over the years. Trust us with all your sink, tub, and shower needs. Water heater installation and replacement. Water line installation and repair. All-American Plumbing offers reliable service, and you can trust us. If you're looking for a top-quality new construction or custom home plumbing service, contact Brian Gray. All-American Plumbing, serving Central Kentucky. For a lot of people, home ownership is a big to-do list item that has to get checked before you feel like you're a grown-up, living your best life. If you're ready to check that box, talk to Derek Brussel at Farmers National Bank. Derek specializes in guiding first-time home buyers, young borrowers, and other newbies toward a responsible, manageable, fulfilling financial future. Visit FarmersNational.Bank to get in touch. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, NMLS number 402972. Welcome back to Green County High School. How good, John Graves. We got Matt Smith the producing, Terrence Eland on the floor, Jeremy Giffords up there somewhere. And we have got a great fourth quarter set up for you. In the third quarter, Rue County wins the third by five points. Landon Blakey had seven, so now he has 17. Boy, Nicholas Culver, eight points. He's got 13 points so far on the nine. It's going to be a shootout. Good old-fashioned shootout in this fourth quarter of play. Cook to Bradley. Bethlehem with the ball, getting things started. Now Osborne will have it, and we're well underway in this fourth quarter of play. Both teams have done an excellent job of taking care of the basketball. It's been a great ball game. If you missed it, I encourage you to call your neighbor and tell them to come back and watch it when we're done. It's worth their time. Ballard, oh, inside Bradley, shot up, missed it. Short-armed it. Peru County comes up with the rebound. Slidell gets it over into the hands of Allen. Everybody I talked to at the timeout said, watch Daniel Allen. Six points is just not Allen's night. Allen drives the fake, puts it up and in, counted him one, and they're right so far, John. He's, a, he's built different. Basket's gonna score, foul's gonna go against Isaiah Ballard. That's gonna be his third. His third. Bethel's played three strong quarters. They can't let LaRue County pull ahead on this one. And I'm going to tell you what, everybody I spoke to in this little section we're with in LaRue County, they say something is wrong with Daniel Allen only having six points. Thomas Mudd checks in. Isaiah Ballard's going to get a breather. We'll see what number 15 does in this final 708 to go as he hits the free throw. 44-38, LaRue. Here comes Cook for Bethlehem. Cook will have it. Now finds Osborne. Osborne back around. Able to get it now set. Culver to Osborne. Osborne to drive. Osborne, spin move, right-handed shot up in the end. Four. <laughs> Four. How does he do it? How does he do it? Time out on the floor. Bethlehem. Springfield State big coverage of the Don Franklin Fifth Region Tournament. The GNG production. When it's time to take a look under the hood, trust your car, truck, or van to Oil Guys. 620 North 3rd Street in Bartstown. Oil Guys knows how to make your car hum. Oil Guys in Bartstown do oil changes, brake jobs, tire rotations, bulb changes. And Oil Guys will make sure those wiper blades are put on tight for the winter. Oil Guys works the convenient hours you're looking for, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, and 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday. They're closed on Sunday. Oil Guys, 620 North 3rd Street in Bartstown. Next to my old Kentucky home dinner train. Hey son, what you doing? Daddy, I'm gonna own a dealership one day. All right, I'll dream with you. From one small dream to over 25 dealerships in the state of Kentucky, we have set out to provide Kentuckians with reliable vehicles and the best customer service for over 50 years. This may have started with a simple dream, but our dedication to our customers will go on for generations. Back here at Green County High School, 
the semifinals of the boys fifth region we do want to remind you tomorrow night and uh the girls are playing down to hart county so go out and support your lady tigers and your bethel banshees as the 19th district final that we had turned into a fifth region final i think we predicted it we i said, think we hey, called look, that I said, you know these two you and i both said these teams are going to meet again, and it's going to be the championship of the girls' fifth, and they are. It'll be a heck of a ball game. Great Saturday night to spend. Pass by LaRue County tipped away, but they get it back. LaRue County's taking care of the ball. They're keeping it in Allen's hands, too, as well they should. Allen's their thoroughbred. And now it's taken away by Culver. Culver the steal to Osborne. He's pushed from behind. And that's going to be on Cole Miller. That's going to be his first. And I have that as the team first. I tell you, Culver's played so hard. Isaiah Ballard's going to check back in for Bethlehem. Ballard, three fouls. But you got to have him. Watch him. Oh, yeah, you got to keep him in there. Seniors got, to, seniors got to know how to play with those. Are you kidding me? Yes, you got to have him in there. Here comes Osborne. Bob to Ballard. Ballard. Goes left to Osborne. This Bethlehem team, we saw them play several times toward the end of this season, and even this year, playing so much better. Scramble for it, it'll go out of bounds. LaRue and Bethlehem going after it, and they're going to give it to LaRue County. They're going to say that uh, Culver had it and lost it out of bounds. Yeah, I agree with that. I concur. Guys, if you're all watching this later, good call. Martis across the half court line. Artist back out center court. Thought about it now instead. Goes down to Blakey. Blakey in the paint, turnaround shot. Can't get the fall. Rebound. Ballard. Don't want Bethlehem to hang around. How about Culver a three? No good. Rebound underneath. Controlled by Martis. Martis and Cook going after it, and Cook's going to pick up the personal. As he should. He should have got it probably a little quicker. It's going to be his fourth half. Cook had three three-pointers in that second quarter of play. His yeah. intensity is so needed on that court. And look at Nick Osborne telling him, guys, got to have you calm down, yeah. play defense, move your feet. That's that's leadership. He needs Cook in there for this next 525, no doubt about that. He's going to leave him in there. I think I would too. Back down court with Allen. Allen. Pass, he throws it away, right in the hands of Osborne. Osborne to Bradley, he'll drive, lays it up and in. He's probably got away with a step, but they didn't call it. No call, Bradley has four. 44-42, LaRue by two. Oh, LaRue almost threw it away. It's Martis with the ball. Martis backs it out. Now back on the left side, he'll go. Finds Slidell. Back to go to Martis for a three. No good off the mark. Not a good percentage shot for sure. Osborne will have it. Osborne triple team goes inside. A whistle on the play. And sometimes Nick Osborne can be, uh, he looks, he doesn't look as strong as he is. That foul is going to be on Daniel Allen. That's going to be his second, team second. And we're going to have a timeout on the floor. LaRue County, Springfield State Bank coverage of the Don Franklin Fifth Region Tournament. What's the G&G production? Injured in an accident, the insurance company's being unreasonable, call us at Mattingly, Sims, Robinson, and McCain. You deserve individualized attention. Our attorneys are prepared to vigorously advocate for you with compassion. Being located right here in the heart of Central Kentucky, you don't have to travel to the big city to receive superior results. To us, you're more than just a number. At Mattingly, Sims, Robinson, McCain, you are part of our community. This is an advertisement. Central Kentucky Community Action Transportation Services, or CK Cats, are looking for full-time drivers. It's a great employment opportunity for you and a great way to help your community. Take seniors to the groceries, hair appointments, transporting veterans, or general public to the bus station or airport. Apply today. CK Cats has a career for you, Central Kentucky Community Action Council. It's an equal employment opportunity. Back here at Greene County High School, Hal Goo, John Greaves, we appreciate you spending your Friday night with us. All 700. Now, John, John Edward is their signaling timeouts, and he says LaRue County, I've got LaRue County one timeout, and I've got Bethlehem the three out. 
What's what's uh, John Edwards saying? Well, he he I, he called a fastball and two curveballs. I think <laughs> I, I'm not real sure. He's pretty good at that. <laughs> Cook in there playing with four fouls. He'll have the ball. Cook the drive all the way down and a charge. And he's done. That's done. That one hurts. Foul out. That'll be it. He'll foul out with nine points. That one hurts. Probably not what you really wanted to see Bethlehem's Cook do. And that was a play that could have gone either way. Yeah, he took it right down the middle. But I agree with the call. 4.34 to go in this one, and Cook is fouling out of the game. Brett Very Greenwell's has got 15 seconds, and he's going to take all 15 of it. Very frustrated. Yeah, Cook. And he and he's, he's saying, "Hey, I, I, I was going. There, you know, it's not a charge; it's a block." So, Greenwell, Thomas Mudd, the freshman, is going to come in, and Hayden Cook, who has had who had a, an electrifying first half. Oh yeah, great ball player. Cook, just a sophomore. He's got a couple more good years in him. <laughs> yes, he does. Great year. Great year. And he's not done. I say he's got another good year. They may have another good game coming up on Sunday. They're not out of this by any means. Inside pass to Allen. Up and in for two. Now, if LaRue is able to get that ball to Allen for shots like that, this 4-12 is going to belong to the Hawks. I can tell you that right now. Ballard. The fake, the shot, the foul. I believe they'll catch Blakey on that one. I agree. And that's going to be, hold on. Number 14. Stand corrected. Cole Miller, that's his second, team third, and that's going to send Isaiah Ballard to the line. We're on the year. He is a 55% free throw shooter. Two points tonight. First trip to the charity strike. First one up and in. Money. They are so important right now. I'm going to go on and say this as a team. Bethlehem is five for five from the charity strike. Ooh, you said it. Yeah, you know. You Great teams play above that. Like, like Ballard. And it didn't matter. Yeah, he nailed it. Six for six for Bethlehem. Back within uh, two. Here's LaRue County. Yeah, look for Allen to keep his hands on that ball as much as possible. Allen, oh, skip pass inside. Finds Blakey up and in for two. Going well, down instant replay is uh, Slidell able to slide down the lane and get the basket to go in. Down low. Shot up, no good, Sold by, uh, stolen back by LaRue County, now stolen again by Bethlehem and a whistle underneath. Now, did you say that last shot was Slidell? I think so. Okay, I had Blakey, I thought it was inside to him, so I Slidell too. Slidell's third foul, team fourth. Osborne's gonna be shooting two and Bethlehem will be shooting two the rest of the way. 3.34 to go in this one. Osborne at the shot, at the strike. First one up and in. Free throws in postseason play are huge. Osborne three for three from the strike. 15 points so far on the night. Next one up, Bottom. He has played a complete game tonight. Now 16 points, he's had a great game. 48-46. LaRue by two. Right side, the fake by Miller. Back, he'll go to Allen. Allen, the drive, the hop, the shot, the two. And Nick Culver's got to lay off because he's got to make sure he, he doesn't get another foul. 13 points for Allen. Puts LaRue back up by four. Culver a three, no good. Rebound underneath, controlled by Allen. Allen up court, he'll go. Find Slidell. Slidell back to Allen. Allen inside, he'll go to Blakey. Moving that ball around, Slidell back to Allen. Allen will have it with 2.51 to go in this ball game. Slidell back to Martis. Martis now to Allen. Slidell will have it back over to Blakey. LaRue County, what an excellent job of moving that ball around on the offense and a whistle away from the ball. They're going to get, I think, Jack Bradley on this one possibly. Correction. 
Number 12, Thomas Mudd, that's his first. Team fourth. So one foul away from shooting one in the bonus. Everybody's shooting now. So everybody's shooting. But if you're Bethlehem, you probably want to go ahead with 235 to go. Trailing by four, you may want to put them in the strike. Three up, no good by Allen. Fight for it. Culver has it. Trying to get to a teammate, he does. He gets it to Osborne. Osborne up court to Bradley. Bradley drives right hand to and it's a goaltending. It didn't Basket matter who went in. Bradley with the two. Give him six. And just like that, it's a two point game. And, and look, Daniel Allen has kind of got a, he, he's got a bad wheel here. He's already got a brace on that right leg and his left leg looks taped. Back to action. Martis all the way down coast to coast, left hander up, it rolls in there. Martis with the two, John. Timeout. Timeout. County up 52 48. Timeout. Springfield State Bank coverage of the Don Franklin. Fifth Region Tournament. It's a GNG production. At Maywood, we want to highlight a great course with wonderful food so you can enjoy the entire experience. If you don't play golf, stop by and try the best hot brown around or our signature cowboy burger. You can experience a private club field that is open to everyone. Memberships available with a full schedule of events throughout the year. We have a full bourbon bar. Family carryout meals make life simple for the busy family. Bargetown Country Club, 130 Maywood Avenue, Bargetown. Tea time start at 7 a.m., the Grill is open Sunday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance Company is the number one property and casualty insurance provider in Kentucky. And Washington County Farm Bureau, they are ready to meet all your insurance needs. Check out Washington County Farm Bureau's rates. They're affordable and their local claim service is quick and efficient. Come by today and see Jeremy Harden, Washington County Farm Bureau Agent Manager, and also John Weiss, Washington County Farm Bureau, 211 Progress Avenue in Springfield. Call today at 859-336-94. If you're pulling for LaRue, give me a like. If you're pulling for Bethlehem, give me a heart. Everybody hit the share. We're going to break all records tonight. We need a 1,000. We're almost there. You can be a part of it and help us do it. Let everybody know what you're doing in this last 212. Let's see who's going to play on Sunday. Osborne brings it straight away for Bethlehem. Approaching that two-minute mark to go in this ball game. Osborne, in, skip pass over to Culver. In regulation. Culver will have it. Oh, these two teams don't want to play overtime. They want to win. Let's see what happens. Osborne backs it out right side, finds Culver. Culver, a little skip move right, front, right wing. Now the drive, the Jordan hop outside Osborne. Osborne three up and got it! Osborne for three! Oh my! Give him 20. 52 51. LaRue. Back out to go, top of the key. That's going to be Allen. Now Allen with the give finds Martis. Buck 29 to go in this one. Martis will have it. Now back around to Slidell. Slidell gets it over to Martis. 120 to go in this one. He's calling for the offense to go. Boy, all these guys sticky man to man by Bethlehem. Slidell has it. Ballard all over him. Throws it to a wide open Martis for two. Punch after punch. LaRue by three with one minute to go. Osborne to Bradley. Bradley back around to Osborne. Osborne now Culver. Culver thought about it. Rainbow three. Got it. He hits it. Oh, my. Culver for three. Timeout on the floor. We're going to keep it right here. Culver. Hits his third three-pointer in the second half. He's got four on the night, John. Bowen Deno, and he's calling for it over there. Nick Osborne over the top. Nick Culver hits one from 24 to tie this ball game up. Are you kidding me? Your score, 54-54. It's been a good one. It's been a good one. The winner of this game will play Adair County on Sunday, Sunday afternoon, as Adair County defeated North Harden earlier this evening. What a ball game we have going here.
Everybody hit a like. Everybody hit a share. Hit the hit the dude with the heart or the laugh. I don't care. Just hit buttons, y'all. We are sure glad to have you a part of G and G Productions. As we resume play, Larue County will have the ball. And the Bethlehem faithful are to their feet for the first time tonight. They are feeling it. We've seen Bethlehem in these situations. What I don't like where Cole? Bethlehem is. What about Culver hitting that big three? Nice Junkyard thing. dog stuff. That was from downtown. That's a Dumas Walkers down here in Greensburg. Right on Main Street. 50 seconds to go. Now here we go. That's the Rue County's Martis down court. Martis will have it. Back on the right side, able to find Slidell. Slidell have it in the corner, inside the goal. Ball tipped around. They got the ball into Allen, and Allen is fouled. That foul is going to go against Dick Osborne. That's just his second, team fifth. And that's going to send Allen to the line where on the year he is a 75% free throw shooter. 13 points so far tonight, John. He is well one under for, his average. One for one from the charity stripe. Yeah, he, he only had two points at the turn at the half. And he has been dogged by Nicholas Culver the entire night. 36 seconds is the time. 36 seconds. And he hits his free throw. I'll keep you updated the time. 55-54, LaRue. Now, Allen will shoot again. Next one up bottom. So, back up to a two-point game. Let's see if... Bethlehem can hit a three. Back out to Culver. Culver a three up and got it! He wow. hit it! Big time three by Culver puts Bethlehem up by one! Culver is pumped! Here comes Larue County. Back down court with Mortis. Mortis will have it off the left side. 15 seconds. 15 seconds to go. Mortis just waiting out there. Now, Mortis still waiting. Eight seconds. Gets it back out into the hands of Allen. Allen just standing out there. Four seconds to go. Right corner, three up by Slidell. It's off the mark. And Bethlehem has won this ball game. The Eagles has lasted. Maroon County here at Green County High School tonight. What a win by the Bethlehem Eagles here this evening over LaRue County. Oh my! Bethlehem pulls it off and they will be playing Adair County on Sunday. What a game by Bethlehem here this evening and what a shot by Nick Culver in the last seconds of this ball game. Boy, they say these games are the greatest show on earth, and this one is very close to it. Your final score, Bethlehem 57, LaRue 56. Keep it right here. Post game is around the men. High school basketball. Brought to you by the Springfield State Bank at the Don Franklin Boys 5th Region Basketball Tournament. Well, it is a G&G &G production. Brooklyn Lee, Marion County Economic Development Director. As our industries continue to grow and invest here in Lebanon and Marion County, that means more and more jobs are being created. If you need a job, we have one for you. It's an exciting time to live and work in Marion County, and we'd love for you to be a part of it. For more information, contact Marion County Economic Development at 270-692-6002 or check out our website at Marion County KY. St. Catherine Farm. They sell high quality, consistently tender and delicious Kentucky Proud homegrown beef. St. Catherine Farm will ensure that their beef is high quality, homegrown, has no additives or preservatives, is fed crops raised on our farms, and is USDA inspected and graded. It's tax time. Check out these specials right now at St. Catherine Farm. St. Catherine Farm. They are Kentucky proud. Hi, I'm Danny Ray Spawn here at St. Catherine's Farm. Come here and buy your beef. It's all local and local raised, and it's Kentucky proud.
If you need it now and you need it quick, then you need to stop at Thompson's Food Mart in Bargetown. Delicious serve-yourself soft-serve ice cream. They have excellent customer service, sparkling clean restrooms, and consistently competitive gas prices. So whether it's a late-night BLT like your mom used to make, or if you need to stop and get a tank of gas, you need to stop at Bargetown at Thompson's Food Mart because it's the stopping place. Thompson's Food Mart, 509 West Stephen Foster Avenue in Bargetown. Bargetown. Here's a question. How can something like floor mats help improve your business? How can this give your employees more confidence to do that? How can safety glasses make your company more productive? And how can the way you look change the way customers see you? For over a million companies, the answer is simple. Cintas. So to help keep your business well-equipped, clean, and looking its best, get Cintas. And get ready for the workday. RLM Underground has been committed to quality and customer satisfaction since opening our doors in 2016. As a full service provider in the telecommunications industry, RLM offers underground and aerial construction, fiber splicing and testing, and much more. Fiber, it's the future of telecommunications, and RLM is making sure they are at the forefront. RLM Underground. Central Kentucky Head Start offers the best preschool experience for children as they prepare for kindergarten. Head Start services include nutritious meals and snacks, mental health, behavioral health, occupational therapy, and speech therapy service for children, all at no cost to families. Head Start believes that families are the first teachers for our children, and we will work with you to help your child have a wonderful, holistic preschool experience. We are accepting applications for new students. Visit our website to give your child the Head Start your child deserves. Well, congratulations to the Bethlehem Eagles. They've made their way to the championship game. It'll be on Sunday. It's at 3 o'clock Eastern time. So at 3 o'clock Eastern time on Sunday, Bethlehem will take on Adair County in that boys' fifth region championship game. Boy, we are back here. It's the Visit Levin and KY postgame show. What an exciting game uh, this evening. Let's jump into, uh, first of all, some of the uh, stats that we have for you here as uh, John Graves is down the floor, and he'll be getting us some information uh, back uh, for the uh, Salt River RECC power player of the game and also the Oil Guys coaches postgame show. Stats are compliments of uh, Ross the Boss. Thank you, Lucas, for your stats. And wow, they're going to be pretty close on the evening as you're looking at the stats. I just want to talk to you about some of the numbers here this evening. For LaRue County, first of all, Landon Blakey had 17 points, 15 for Daniel Allen, uh, 10 points for Aiden Seidel, 10 also for Mardis, and four for Harris. Four players in double figures for LaRue County. For Bethlehem, it was Nick Osborne with 19 and Nicholas Culver with 19, but the big three by Culver at the end, boy, that was one that made all the difference in the world. Uh, six points for Jack Bradley, nine for Hayden Cook, who fouled out, but he'll play again on Sunday, and four for Isaiah Ballard. If you look at some of the numbers, Bethlehem uh, struggled on turnovers, had 12 defensive rebounds, did well, had 16 of those. But wow, eight for eight from the charity stripe. Uh, shot 48% from the field, but LaRue County 50% from the field. So a very close ball game. Came down to the big shot at the very end by Bethlehem's Nick Culver, the senior. Really did an excellent job tonight for Bethlehem. That's Lucas Ross, the ball stats. They are powered by the Farmers National Bank in Lebanon. John Graves is still winding up trying to get a few of his uh, players. I want to do drain of the game as we can bring that in here. And naturally, you're going to see this drain of the game. You're going to say, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. It is the drain of the game. And it's Nick Culver. Uh, Nick Culver with five three-pointers. I had him with 19 points. And he is our drain of the game here tonight. Let's take a look at it. Watch him as he goes back with time running out. Gets the ball, rainbow three, nails it. People just go nuts. Big time three that shocked, I think, the world here tonight. It shocked everybody here at Greene County High School. 
All-American Plumbing. Drain of the game. Call All-American Plumbing for any of your plumbing needs at 859-481-8925. Time now to head on down to the court. John Graves is getting ready for that power players of the game. Got them both, Nick and Nick, with John Graves, John. Hold on, my mic's off. Got me now. There we go. Uh, Mr. Culver, I'm going to start with you. When that last shot left your hand, did you know it was good? No, not really. <laughs> Nick told me. He said, I'm going to attack. Just follow me. I'm going to give it to you. And that's exactly what he did. And it, it's almost like a practice shot, something you do just for fun, you know, see if you can make it. And I actually do that a lot. I work on those shots a lot, but I never think I'm going to use them. Finally got to use it. Thank God it went in. You know, good things happen when Nick Osborne plays a complete game, am I right? Oh, yeah, better than the, just playing one half. How good, guys, does it feel to say this? The Bethlehem Eagles are playing for a fifth region title on Sunday. Unbelievable. We've never been here, and it's only happened twice in Bethlehem history, so to be able to be a part of history is amazing. Yeah, I mean, just for the community, for the culture of the school and his team, like Nick said, Coach Hall just told us back there, it's the second time we've ever got to reach a championship. We're the only team that we've played. We outlasted all the teams on our regular season schedule. So it's just really big for the program. Guys, there are about three million people that want to hug you all. The Eagles have landed in the championship game on Sunday. Back up to you, Hal. Thank you, John. What an unbelievable night. And again, our power players of the game, Nick Osborne, 19 points. Nick Culver, 19 points. Big night by both the uh, gentlemen, they really did play well. How about we head down for our coaches post game show? It's brought to you by Oil Guys. Here are the coaches' comments. Brad Greenwell is with John Graves right now. John. Brad, the shoe still fits. <laughs> Region finals, man, I cannot believe that we're able to say that right now. It's just, I don't know how we won that game, man. It's just, I know how we won. My kids just fight battle and their defensive effort tonight was just unbelievable able to contain daniel allen tonight and that's something that not a lot of teams have been able to do uh nick culver offensively you know with the last shot we'll talk about in a minute what about on the defense there on the last shot just nick culver's defense on daniel allen all night man like i've said before he's been our main cog on the defensive end he he draws every team's best player and we, we ask him to stay glued to Allen's hip because Allen's a player, man. He's in any other world besides the transfer portal, he's a D1 player. Um, and, and Nick Culver absolutely took him out of the game for the most part. Nick Osborne had a complete game tonight, and you needed that to happen. I didn't feel too good before the game because he had to leave warm-ups um, because his stomach was not feeling great. He woke up this morning um, with a stomach bug. And all I kept saying to him was Michael Jordan flu, Michael Jordan flu. Flu game, 96. Coach, uh, you, anything's possible on Sunday. You know that in these regional finals. Uh, it doesn't matter how you got here, you're here, um, and, and you're going to make the most of it, I'm sure. Anytime you can get in a championship game, as you said, anything can happen. Why not us? Why not us? Why not Bethlehem? The Eagles have landed in the fifth region tournament finals. Thank you, John. Good discussion. Great ball game. Bethlehem comes up with the win as they defeat LaRue County by one, 57 to 56. They move on to play Adair County, who defeated North Harden earlier this evening to get that ticket to the championship game of the boys fifth region tournament. Three o'clock Eastern time. Now I'm gonna tell you, three o'clock Eastern time is the time for the tip off of uh, Bethlehem and Adair County. It'll be a packed house down here. I can promise you that as well. They will pack them in for sure. Well, I believe if my producer tells me that's all I have to do, I think that's all I have to do. I think we've got everything together and uh, we are good. We want to thank everybody for uh, being a part of our coverage. Thank you so much for tuning in because we're going to be back on Sunday bringing you that championship game. We want to thank Jeremy Gifford on top as he did a, he did a great job on the camera angles this evening. And Terry Duty Edlin on the handheld. Uh, John Graves naturally on the color. We had Sean Allen back in the uh, trailer along with uh, our producer as our G&G &G production this evening was produced by Matthew Smith 
back in our G&G &G production mobile unit. And again, your final score here this evening. Going on to play at Air County will be the Bethlehem Eagles as they defeat LaRue County 57 to 56. Well, that winds up our coverage here at uh, Green County High School. We're back on Sunday, so you'll want to join us for that. We'll have an hour pregame. We'll go on at around 2 o'clock Sunday afternoon. Well, for the G&G &G crew, we thank them so much for the work that they've done here uh, at Green County. That's going to wind us up for the night. Yours truly, Halby Good, wishing you and yours a pleasant evening. Our coverage brought to you by the Springfield State Bank is the Don Franklin Boys Fifth Region Basketball Tournament, and it's a G&G &G production. So long, everybody. This has been live and free coverage of the Don Franklin Family of Auto Dealerships Fifth Region Basketball Tournament, live and free from Green County High School. G&G &G production coverage is brought to you by Don Franklin Family of Auto Dealerships, the Springfield State Bank, built and growing on friendly service, Snappy Tomato Pizza, 111 East Main Street in Springfield, Lebanon Tourism in Lebanon, Kentucky, visit the heart of Kentucky today, Salt River Electric, serving our members since 1937, Sail with Hill. Farmers National Bank, by your side for more than 130 years. Bowen Dental. Hometown Pharmacy, stay well with us. Mattingly Sims, Robinson and McCain, Attorneys at Law. Marion County Economic Development, at the intersection of life, legacy and vision. St. Catherine Farm. All-American Plumbing. River of Life, Lisa Kearns Exit Realty, Sweden, the Springfield Washington County Economic Development Authority, Springfield Presbyterian Church, The Oil Guys, Centox, RLM Underground, providing excellent work, service and support for all of our underground and aerial projects, Right Implement, Central Kentucky Community Action Head Start. Boone's Butcher Shop, top quality meats for less. Thoroughbred Asset Management, where do you want to go? We'll help you get there. Thompson Food Mart in Bardstown. Pat Mattingly Incorporated, family owned cargo and freight services. Washington County Farm Bureau. Central Kentucky Community Action Transportation, CATS, Danville Office Equipment, Washington County Clerk, Brent Berry, b and &E Home Furnishings, Demery and Hubbard. The following has been a service of G&G &G Productions. No rebroadcast or duplication of video or audio material is allowed without written permission from ownership. Fifth Region Basketball. It's a production of G&G &G Production.